In today's show, it's a mock draft, but it's an auction mock draft. The first one of the season, a nine-category, 12-team auction draft hosted over on Yahoo. Is Michael Bolton in the draft? Thanks, Josh. It's Michael Bolton here, and it's time for another episode of the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Indeed. You are Locked On Fantasy Basketball, your daily fantasy basketball podcast part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Hello and welcome to the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast brought to you by Basketball Monster. My name is Josh Lloyd and I am the lead fantasy analyst at BasketballMonster.com. You can find me on Twitter as always at RedRock underscore B-Ball on TikTok at RedRock underscore B-Ball and on Instagram at Locked On Fantasy Basketball. Thank you for making Locked On Fantasy Basketball your first listen every day. We are free. And we are available on all platforms. So, first auction mock draft of the season. We did a show on auction tips yesterday. I hope it goes okay in today's show. Uh, it's always tough going against people who know your strategy all the time going in. And we'll see how that works. Plus, doing a podcast while you're auctioning. And we'll try and just debate some stuff that goes on. I am going to be joined by Adam King in this uh, auction mock draft, a nine-category, 12-team league mock. We also got some news today about Trey Murphy suffering a meniscus injury. We don't know how long that's going to keep him out, but meniscus injuries can range from four to six weeks if it is a simple um, a menisc- meniscectomy when they cut part of the meniscus out or if it's in a certain part of the meniscus and they are able to do a repair, which leads to way better outcomes long-term. Well, that can be a four to six month injury. We've seen players like Derek Rose miss a whole season due to meniscus um, injury, James Wiseman, uh, Colin Sexton a couple of years ago, or guys like Cam Johnson who missed six weeks last season. Kawhi Leonard suffered a meniscus injury. Of course, we have absolutely no idea what sort of surgery he had or if he had any surgery, but he looks like he'll be ready to begin the season. So it is a fair range there. I would say that the beginning of the season for Murphy is in a little bit of doubt. He might be ready, but he also might be out until Christmas. So we just don't know on that. So I would say that people looking at him in this draft will be a little bit more hesitant. The value of someone like CJ McCollum bumps. Herb Jones bumps a little bit. Najee Marshall would have to jump more into the rotation. And then there's a few extra minutes for Alvarado, Dyson Daniels, or Jordan Hawkins. Of course, Hawkins is shooting if it's real. I don't think it will be, especially as a rookie. It's very rare for rookies to be good shooters. That could be the good replacement there, but I don't really think we need to or we can really rely on Hawkins to come in and do what Murphy did. Just look at Murphy's shooting numbers as a rookie. They weren't very good, and I think he's a better shooter than what Hawkins is. So Hawkins doesn't become a draftable player, nor does Najee Marshall, nor does Dyson Daniels. It improves Jones a little bit because it gives him a few more minutes, but it doesn't change his overall game. He's not going to be dropping 16 a night. He's not going to average... You have four, five assists and seven rebounds. Just gives you more opportunities to get steals. So his value does boost in that situation. Today's episode is brought to you by Fangel. Fangel is the official sportsbook of Locked On, of course. The NFL season is here and ready to go, and they have got some incredible offers over at Fangel, America's number one sportsbook. Right now, new customers can bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed. Plus, Every customer who bets $5 on FanDuel will get $100 off NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube and YouTube TV. Now it is the best time to join FanDuel. The app is easy to use and you can bet on everything from spreads to player props and more. So visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and kick off the NFL season with an offer that you won't want to miss. FanDuel, an official partner of the NFL. And don't forget to gamble responsibly. So we might as well bring Kingy in here and have a bit of a chat before we kick this uh, kick this auction mock off. Adam King, welcome back to the show. Very nice to be here, uh, Joshua. Uh, early early in the morning for us. Um, yes. Hopefully, some people are mm-hmm. half asleep over there doing the draft because I am. Uh, I don't know if I'm concerned about. <laughs> How I'm going to do, but this is my very first auction draft, so let's see how we go. Didn't you do one on the weekend? Were you doing? Didn't you run one there, or did you just sit and watch I, like a like a creep? I did. I was the creep. I I ran the draft, but I didn't draft. Well, there you go. Good luck. I wonder if anyone else in this draft, it's their first time. It's my first one for this season, but I have done auction drafts for the last 10 years, and we'll see how this all uh, all pans out. We're running 12 teams. We've got 14-man rosters, $200 budget, standard nine categories, only one center, four bench players. That's how we're running things. So 
that's how we're getting ready to do this. You don't have to divulge any strategy to me here, Kingy. We're going to go through that and see how things un, uh, unroll or unravel as the draft goes on, depending on how our uh, how our team looks. But there was some news this morning. Just quickly mm-hmm. touch on it before this draft starts. Trey Murphy out with a meniscus injury. I did just touch on it before you came on, but I, I've given my thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts on the Trey Murphy meniscus injury. Uh, well, we uh, no word on surgery yet, I don't think, that Not I've yet. seen. No. Um, so... I mean, chances are he misses the start of the season, whether whether he has surgery or not. Um, look, I mean, for me, it probably cements Herb Jones as the starter, uh, at least yes. to open the season. Um, yeah, until we get word on how long he's going to miss, if it's only a couple of weeks, but it's probably going to be... I don't know, Zion had a meniscus injury in his rookie year, didn't he? And Isn't that what he had? And he missed yeah. a lot of time. But I, I know they... I think that's right. I know they vary though, so it can be six weeks, it can be four months, sort of thing. So, yeah, that's the thing. It could be a you know whole season. James Wiseman had a meniscus injury yeah. in year two, as I said before. Before you came on, Derek Rose had one. Colin Sexton, that's what his injury was with the Cavs um, two years ago. So, mm-hmm. um, or it could be a Cam Johnson had one last season. And he missed five or six weeks or whatever yeah. it is. So it really does depend and on the type of injury and the location and the rehab and all that sort of stuff. So. At the moment, we, we don't know. It is a little bit risky because, again, he could be ready opening night or he could miss until Christmas. We, yeah. we, we just we just don't know. And that is a big risk that gets um, put into these things. So we're getting ready to get into this auction. What I do think will happen, though, is that because this news is fresh, like two hours ago, that a lot of people will just let him fall and someone will get in for like two bucks and mm. then – it might be totally fine, and that's that's real value. Yeah. In that. So there is there is an, a, a window there. So just to watch what happens. But then also, if someone sees him go for two bucks and someone bids him up, then he'll end up getting bid up to 10, 12 bucks anyway, and the value disappears. So it, it is a very risky proposition. That is the vagaries of an auction draft. Kingy, I'm going to pause this until we're ready to go, and then we'll come back, and we'll be looking as good as new. All right. All right. So everyone is here. We are 50 seconds away from the auction mock starting, and I've just got to remember that once we start getting some players building up, I'm going to take our lovely faces off the screen later on, Kingy, just to make sure people can see what's mm. actually going on down in our bottom corner. But we are we are here. We are ready to go. Um, I might actually take that frame off that so that logo just removes down the bottom. And you can see... Oh, does that actually change much? Yeah, just so you can see the budgets of every team. So we'll do that. There you go. So we can see what's going on down the bottom there. Um, all right, we are 20 seconds away. We are, where are you nominating? You are ninth. Uh, so I'm seventh. So Olip, Ellipse, Ellipsis is nominating um, first. All right, so I'm going to be nominating before you. My strategy, as everyone would have heard in my show yesterday, was I'm just going to nominate someone that I don't want. Just I want money off the board. Mm. I think most people would do that way. It'd just be interesting to see if anyone throws out someone that I do want in one of their early bids or in one of their early nominations because that is. Um, yeah, and the, the general rule, King, is we think we we all want to throw out someone we don't want, but zigging and zagging is really important in auction. So, look, if you think everyone's going to do that, maybe it's okay to throw out someone that you do want, and people don't get that necessarily. Jokic is up. All right. Jokic is listed with an average price of 74, which is miles above his 61 projection. Mm. Do you think it's worth spending 70 on Jokic? Are you getting in on this uh, offer? Because no one else seems oh. to be. Uh, well, I don't know. This is one of those ones. I, I know you said on your show yesterday, someone always goes for value early. Mm-hmm. Um, it's normally about the second or third guy you, as you general rule. Yeah, look, I he went for, I think in the, the auction I did the other day, he went for almost 80, 79, ah. which was, for me, that was way, like I'm no expert by any means, but that felt way too high. Yeah, that's that's too high. I, I think, and you're not, you're not getting involved in this bidding, are you? Because I'm not. No. I no. think that, Jokic at at seventy four, it's way too overpriced. It's it just doesn't it doesn't make a lot of sense to me when you can add like when you look at the values of guys up to sixty four here, even that might be a little bit too high. But when you can mm. add a let's say Don Mitchell and Larry Markin and together for less than what Jokic went for, which is sixty four theoretically, and then you add Jokic and like a one dollar guy like a Kevin Herder, for example, I'd rather get Don Mitchell and Paul yeah. George or Don Mitchell and Larry Markin and it just well Shaden Sharp's up early here. He's mm. uh let's see how people treat this one. This should be like a one to two dollar sort of a player, but oh yeah, he went for two dollars. All right, that's okay. That's yeah. good. Often these guys get thrown in early, they'll either go for that cheaper price, which Tony got him for two. 
um, or they start getting bit up. DeAndre Ayton, you've got to be on our toes here, King, because we're talking and we're mm. yep. uh, trying to work out what's going on. DeAndre Ayton, all right, so I'm looking at him as like an interesting sort of player. What's he going to go for here? So he's projected his 20 bucks. I just chucked a bit on him because I just don't want it to sit at $6. Good old Gregor Fuschka, someone has put in as their name. The old Fuschka. Um, I'm not going to bid him up because I'm not letting him go for under under that price. Like, no, 10 bucks. I know people are down on Aiden, but this is not a um, not a price that we can let slide. I'll take it up to 13 here. 14, Abe. Is Abe bidding me up? Does he think that I like DeAndre Aiden? Because I don't. I'll go 15. I'll go one more and I'll leave it at that. I'm not going higher than 15. And I think I'm going to end up with him at 15, which is okay. I'm okay yep. with that. No, nope. that's nope. oh, all right. Abe, you can take him. I'll let you have him. It's a little bit under. It's probably $2, $2 or $3 under where I'm sort of valuing him, which is okay. I got a little bit of extra cash off the board. I didn't get stuck with him, so I'm okay with that. Um, here we go, Triple J. Karan just trying to really throw the cat amongst the pigeons here. $48 for Jaron Jackson is an insane price. There is no way that I'd be paying that. Um, how did he go in your auction the other day? Oh, uh, I don't remember actually. Maybe he went for 30 35 maybe. Mm-hmm. I'd have to I'd have to go in and have a look. Let's see how people value him here. Because I think 30 is probably about right. Yep. That 48 is an insane number. Um, really hard for me to get behind that in any real stretch of the imagination. He's up to 30 again. That, this is about right. I'm not that interested in going for him here at that spot. I'm, I don't hate it, but I'm not going to jump in at, at that position. But it is really <laughs> nicely under that overall... Um, that overall Yahoo number, which is a crazy number, that forty-eight, we need to that needs to come down. No one should be spending that amount on look. That's two dollars less than what people are spending on Giannis, which yeah. is, is crazy to me. That's not Tony's already got two guys on his team: Shaden Sharp and Jaron Jackson. Which thirty-two dollars? All these values are, are very similar to how I'm valuing these guys, and probably the way that things have gone so far, I think that everyone's gone a little bit under, like $1 to $2 under where I'm valuing them. So that's an interesting trend to start off this draft. Of course, you make a noise there because Victor Wembanyama yeah. is up. What's his uh, projected prices? Well, his average is 30 bucks. Wow. Uh, I am not spending $30 on old Vic. I think he's like a 25 guy and he goes for 20. Interesting. That was very fast. Didn't even say uh, that. Uh, it was very fast. I... I might have got in on that at twenty, but I was all right. Yanni, looking let's looking at stuff. I, um, let's go for Yanis, who I think is probably a forty dollar player. Let's yep. see how people, well, at least more than forty. He's always average at fifty. Fifty is totally fine. I think that a lot of his defensive numbers, Kingy, will come up this year because I think that he had insane usage last season, and I think that's going to um, drop with Middleton back, and Yanis might be able to, fingers crossed, concentrate a little bit more defensively. Yeah, and if anyone was listening to your show on the Durant rank and the the free throw impact, mm. all that sort of stuff, then maybe they'll have a bit of a different opinion on taking him in a non punt free throw build. Oh, look, when I'm well, that's a cheap price for Giannis, man. When, when I'm saying that like Giannis is not you, you, the worst player in the world to have if you're not punting free throws, what I mean is it does take a little bit of resource to get him to a solid area, but mm. it's not the the idea that. He this automatically loses you that category. Yeah, I think I pro- proved that that was false. Like it's just it's not true. He doesn't automatically lose you that category. It's not it's not always the best idea to pump resources into fixing it, but he doesn't automatically lose you that category. You can mm. win that category without without gigantic um, stresses. It's my turn to nominate. So let's <clears throat> let's throw Jimmy Harden out there and let's see how people go with Jim. I'm going to put just a quick twenty five on Jim and see how people go with that. Um, I obviously have no interest in getting Harden at this stage with the level of uncertainty around him, but I do think that he can be like, well, he's very comfortably a 30 plus dollar player. We'll see whether people go that direction. Tony's already got three guys on his team, by the way. Who do, who's the other one he got? He got Jaron, he got Sharp, oh, and he got Jokic as well. Oh, so he's, oh, he's, so cool. he's going hard, yeah. He's starting to not cash out, but that's three guys. And he was, he's in on Harden here as well. I... People know my strategy. I find it really risky to load up on those top end guys. And my real life example is always going to be King of the Lakers last season, like when they loaded up on three big salary players and one of them yeah. was one of them was bad and then the other ones were injured and they were they were terrible. And then they mm. traded and got depth and look at that. They were way better. Like that's that to me is the perfect 
um, descriptor of how I think you can have success in an auction draft is you know, having that level of depth insulates you against a lot of vagaries of schedule and injury. Harden goes for $32. Again, everyone's coming in just a little bit under, which is intriguing that some of the guys that I thought might be values later on probably won't be. So I've got to start to adjust my thinking on a lot of these players. Kyrie Irving up here. I th- Let's see. I'm getting in on 31 for Kyrie. Absolutely no doubt about that. I th- he's out. He's average is 49. Let's see where where he ends up um, headed. What do you think of Kyrie this season? Are you worried about the kyrie of it all? Oh, I think the kyrie is always a bit of a concern, but I'm not I'm not worried about anything else, really. I'm like, I think health has been pretty good the last couple of years. Yeah, that's because he's been um, sitting out games for other nonsense. Yeah. He hasn't had a chance to get hurt. That's right. But production has been fine. Mm. Um, I'm not worried about him next to Luca at all, really. So, I'm... Um, yeah, look, I think he's he's a value this season because you can get him mid second round, late second round, and he could easily be top twelve. Oh, if you can get him late second round, that's really interesting. I don't. I think if I'm in a draft and I'm picking middle of the second, he's not getting past me there. Tony mm-hmm. goes up again with Kyrie at thirty nine. So what that does is Tony's got these players right, but he's going to be really hamstrung now with other guys. He's got Jokic, Jaron, and Kyrie. So theoretically, that's three. Let's say top twenty at worst players. But then you run into the issue where what does he do with the rest of his roster where he's going to be able to be outbid a lot easier. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how he goes. It, it, is, mm. it always looks good when you start off that strong and then when you have to fill out spots 8 through 14 with bench crud, it gets yep. a little bit... It, but it can be pulled off, absolutely. And especially because he hasn't overpaid for any of those guys, which is a positive there too. Tatum, Jason Tatum. Um, I'm looking at him as probably like a $40 sort of a player. That 64 is pretty insane to me. I yeah. hope that someone pushes it over 50. That was you that threw him out, Kingy. What was your thought yep. process behind it? Uh, just getting money off the board at this point. Um, oh, fuck, you went. 48. Uh, I tried to throw a bit on that and was a second too late. I, that's still a little bit over to me in terms of how I value it, but that's significantly less than how Yahoo's projecting him out, which is very, very interesting. Hopefully, Doncic here goes like that. That's 68. I, I bloody hope he goes for 68. He won't but I hope he does. Yeah. I, I am a little bit interested in him, but I want to see what he gets up to yeah, before gonna, I get in. I'm trying to push this price up here. I just, I'm making it, I'm doing some quick bidding, trying to push it up. Do I want Doncic? Not, I'm not against it, but I also yeah. just, I don't want it to sit there at a, a low price, but now it's getting to the stage where it's a little risky for me. To jump in. All right. So at least we got him up to Yahoo's projected price. We're still not an average price, but again, the trend of this draft is everyone is holding on to their holding mm. on to their money and going a little bit soft on things, which is I think totally the right way to do it. But it does complicate things when everybody is doing that. Um oh, Embiid. All right, let's get more of this cash out of here. Tony, can Thanks. you throw a bit on him? Put sixty bucks on him and get get just wipe yourself out. Noah went back to back there with Tatum and Doncic, so mm. he's he's just offloaded one hundred and one hundred and ten dollars. That's interesting. So he's got twelve spots left for ninety dollars. So he's going to average about five bucks a pick now, which again makes it really tough in other positions. And beat only at fifty one is cheap. Yeah, look, he's should be like a sixty ish dollar player. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Hopefully, the thing you also hope, King, is that some people start to panic and see all the top guys going off. That they go, well, I have to have one of those. And but the fact that Embiid, Halliburton, and Shea are all sitting there means that someone go, oh, maybe I don't need to spend up for Embiid. Maybe I can get Tyrese. Maybe I can get Shea and yeah. fulfill my wish of a top six player that way. So we will uh, we'll see how they approach that. Fifty five is about okay. Again, the trend is sticking. We are seeing lower prices for a lot of these players. That's going to adjust strategy. It has to adjust strategy. So I'm looking at maybe I do look at some of these top end players. Derek White's not one of those guys. Let's see if Noah goes in on this one. No, yeah, Noah might go in on this. Um, but Noah would be smart not to go in on this because we all think that he's going to go in on this. So he would be smart mm-hmm. to try and fool someone into thinking that he's going in on it. Um, but he's taking him at nine bucks. He's projected his 17, which is what? No one should be spending $17 on Derek White. Getting him for nine is fine. He's up to 10. I think he's probably not even worth that amount, but it's not far off it. Let's just keep bidding him up. Noah, what are you doing? You're not letting, you're not going in. That's actually smart mm. from Noah, right? Mm. <clears throat> if, if that guy knew who Noah was, 
you yeah. play against your your type a little bit, as we always or I always like to say. You don't. Have, there's not someone you have to get. You don't have to get this bloke. You don't have to go in and grab a player. Torres Halliburton's up. I am interested in this just because of the pricing of other players. If I can get him for forty five, I will. I'm, t- yeah. I'm just telling you what I'm doing here. No, um, it's. Uh- Oh, I'm, Tony. I'm, oh, see, look, now Tony's in on this. I actually want Tony to take him so he can't do anything else. So I'm not going to bid Tony up. I, I want him to take him because I want him to wipe, wipe 50 bucks off so he can't do anything else. But we should, yep. yeah, no, we should have left it. Let Tony get back in on it <clears throat> as I lose my voice. 51 bucks. Oh, God. I'm dying here. Oh, there we go. Um, nah, so we've got Kobe, 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 Kobe one, one at 53. I want Tony back in on this. If I see Tony dropping a 50 on somebody, I'm just letting him have it because I just want him wiped out. Halliburton yeah. goes for 53. Not bad. Shea's still out there. So that's when I reckon we might, that might push. Oh, you've got to nominate Shea. What are you doing? Miles Turner. Um, all right, Miles Turner. Projected number of around 30. Yep. I don't think he's worth that, but I am going to be interested because going by previous prices, he might be a $21 player. All these knocks. He's already pushed. Wow, people really going this hard on Turner. I'm at 23 and I'm going to sit at that. Mm. People really going that hard on Miles. Am I, am I going to be stuck with Miles Turner at 23 bucks? I'm okay with him at 23 bucks, but I didn't want him. Ooh, Abe. Hmm. <laughs> 24. Okay. Totally fine. All right. Ooh, Adam King gets in at 25. Welcome yeah. to the board, Kingy. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, have you got your first player? Is it Miles um, Turner? I might have. Yeah, you have. Oh no, you no, haven't. No, hey. okay. Right, yeah, I'm go. not. I'm not going. I was 25 was probably top of what I wanted to go for him. Very nice. Very now. Now it's Tony's go to. Tony just be, being the cult hero of this draft so far. The uh, definitely the uh, the main character. What's he going to do here, Tony? Who are you throwing out, my guy? Throw out Shay and then bid on him. <laughs> Please take 50 off him. Still a bit of top end there. There's yeah, there is. There's KD, a lot. Lillard, Curry, Anthony Davis. There's a, there's a lot mm. left. Demar, Demar, DeRozan. I think this might end up with some value. To be honest, well, I'm going to throw another dollar on him. Not let him go for nine bucks. Um, I reckon he might come in at a pretty good pawn. Well, actually, no, small loan just dropped him. To, oh, he's already at eighteen. Hmm. His projected number is twenty two. His average is twenty. I think I'm going to leave this alone. There's still like. A ton of second, third round, fourth round players available mm. here. Um, and we're getting some cash off the board. Noah, Gregor, Tony, they're all down a little bit. Um, there's a few of us who haven't been or haven't got anyone. Karan, Alex, me, and you. Uh, and DeRozan goes for 20. And now his teammate, Nikola Vucevic. I, hmm, let's see. Could be a cheapy guy here. He's going for 25, though. I don't like... What, what do you think? I'm very much down on Vooch this season. Where are you at with him? Uh, yeah, look, I'm not I'm not high on him. Um, he seems to just sort of plug away and do what he does. Um, feel it's got to come back at some point. Last year, he played all the, every game. So that yes. inflated, I think, his value and, and what people thought of him. So, um, I mean, he's still the centre, starting centre. No one's really taking his minutes. So. Correct. He's got a set role. What did he go? He went for 19, so... That's all right. That's, that's, I think that feels okay. It's totally okay. Again, there's a lot of guys. The average seems to be 2 to $3 under the average and projected price here, which is fine. It happens quite... Oh, here we go. Chet Hong. Yep. happens quite often. Old Cheddar. What do I... Looking at Cheddar. Is it probably a 20... Oh, he's going at 25. Hmm. Okay. Remember, when Manyama went for 20, I feel Chet might go for more just because of the positioning here in the draft as to where he sits and people might say, well, Vic went too cheap. Let's yeah. um, let's grab the Cheddar in the middle here. Hmm. Am I? Yeah, I'll take him to 17. Oh, he went to 18. Hmm. I think he's probably worth 20. Noah, 19. Well, I'm happy to take 19 off Noah's... Out of Noah's wallet, Kingy's at twenty. Let's. Are you trying to? Are you, do you want him or are you trying? I'm out. Are you trying? Do you want him or are you trying to take him off Noah? No, look, I'll I'll have him for this price. Mm. Um, that's fair. It's a good price. Ooh, okay. Kobe one up to twenty one. I think I'll go twenty 
to and we'll see probably don't want to go much higher than this a little bit of uncertainty uh there you go okay 22 that's all right you're all right. you're here welcome you're, you're there so now there's three of us left this is often where i get stuck i do have a, a big list of targets I've got about 30 guys on my target list and none of them have come up yet for uh oh hmm lillard 56 average price I he went absolutely no he way. He went cheap in my. I remember he went for thirty-seven. Yeah, that's ridiculous. In, that, you got to yeah. take that at thirty-seven. Yeah, he flew on like he just slipped through because I think we were chatting. I was talking to Zach, um, and we went. How did that happen? Exactly what you said would happen with yeah. one or two players. We we looked at it and went, "How the hell did he go for that price?" The one that's probably done that so far here is Wembenyama. I would say, yeah, um, where he went for twenty, where I was expecting thirty from him. Yeah, or even twenty five, so he probably went under. I'm sitting at forty one on Lillard. If I get him at forty one, I'm I'm good with that. Let's mm-hmm. see if I do. I do. All right. Dude, all right. Very nice. And now I am going to take screw this shit. Let's start forty two dollars Shea Gildas Alexander. <laughs> all right. So Lillard for what did I get? Lillard for forty one dollars. Okay. Let's go with that. That means I need to adjust some of my other plans. Let's see what Shea goes for here. Shea should be 50, 50 plus, surely. His average is 63. Yeah. Come on, guys. You've got, you got cash left over here. I don't love getting Lillard Purse. Like, I don't love it, but I do think at 42, there's quite a bit of value in that. Yeah. Um, that's like a back-end, second-round-ish sort of player. In this draft, maybe not the way that things are playing out. Oh, yes, we're bumping Shea up. Let's go. And Noah's got 53 on him. This is going to kill Noah. I love it. Wipe him out. Let him take him. Oh, yeah, Noah. Well done, mate. Love that for you. It's People will so look at that got, and they'll love Tatum, Doncic, Shea all on the one team. Yep. The, but he's now got $40 left the other, for 11. The other, the other 11 spots. Oh, <laughs> you got to make sure you got to know what you're doing. And I'm sure he does. Kawhi Leonard. Where are you with Kawhi? I think he's going to be healthy to start the season, but I also do think that that setback of the meniscus is going to impact him and back to backs. I don't, with the uncertainty around Lillard, I'm not take, taking Kawhi here, but that is off. Oh, that is a cheap price. I don't know if I can let that slide. That is so cheap. 34. So he's up to 33. Yeah. Well, that's about right for me. That's actually about yeah, right. I'll leave that for I think, Yeah. 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 33. Yeah, that's that's about right. What was interesting like you- there, right? So just not sorry to jump in, but someone nominated him for 31 and Abe just immediately chucked a 33 on him. I know it's yeah. a $1, but he didn't mm. need to do that. He could have just chucked a 32. Oh, shit, it's me. Uh... He could have just chucked a 32 on him, right? Like it's $1, but there was no, like <laughs> you're, you're close enough to his range that you don't need to throw five or $6 on. It was very, as, as we saw, it took one bid to get him and that's it. Yeah. Steph, hmm, probably a $50 player, I would say, with the money that's left on the board. Everyone's going to be yeah. saving up for, again, this is this is the effect of when people draft against me that follow me, that they all seem to take on the same approach that I do, apart from, say, Tony and Noah here, but mm. nearly everyone else. In, mo- in most other auction drafts, if it's a, a bunch Ooh. of other... Steph goes to 46. A bunch of other guys, they will all just spend up on the top end guys and they'll follow that average number pretty and they'll look at it and go, we can't let him go for less than average. Uh, but everyone here is doing things a little bit differently. Steph goes to 46. Again, it's probably in that 4 to $5 under range in terms of value, though he's Steph's overall uh, what project, average was 61. That's, that's a lot under. But it, again, just follows the pattern of everything that's happening here. And Edwards, I'll take him for 31. Yeah, that feels all right. Um, I'm not going to go not, too much not higher. going up as quick as I thought. I thought he'd go up a bit quicker. but mm. Yeah. 32. Okay. I, I think that's I think that's totally a reasonable area for Ant, even though his average sits at a price that's too high for me. Now, this is the interesting one. Lamello Ball. Are you... Do you have any concern about injury? Uh, not really, no. I um, don't either. No. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not really concerned. But oh, that price is stupid. Come on, guys, yeah. we're not. Let, we're not letting that sit. sit. It's got to be forty plus. Has to be. I'm not letting this go for under forty. 
feel free to just let him go. No, I'm bumping it up. Fuck it. Let's go. Keep going. Let's go. I'm up to 42 <laughs> here. Uh, there we go. Uh, Abe just chucked another $3 on. Why? Is he like... Okay. I, I, it's not... Again, it's not the end of the world. 45 is totally okay. Ooh, Kingy. 47. Okay. Lamello more than Steph. Didn't see that coming. I don't Ooh. I don't disagree with it, but I didn't see it coming. Mm. Lamello, really? A bit of a bidding war here. Again, because some of the top end guys are, are gone, and that's how that's why people yeah. always ask, can you like reference auction prices in when you talk about it? But it's so hard because things change like by five, six, ten dollars based on range. If you're a guy that's a second round player, you're a second round player in any sort of format or you know, between ten and twenty, but it varies so much here. KD, I don't want to wouldn't want to spend more than forty just with the uncertainty. Fifty five is too much to spend, and I think most people in this draft are going to be smart enough not to go that high on KD with some of his injury concerns. Mm. But if you get him for forty one, which I'm going to throw forty one on there, just because come on, I'm not letting that go through. Uh, I don't really want him at forty one, but oh, don't don't let me stick with him again. <laughs> don't do that. Ugh. All right, that's okay, but it, it's I. I I think it's I think it's value. I think it's some value. Um forty one for Kevin Durant. Don Mitchell. Um okay, Donnie should be I think that I think that projection and average on Yahoo is probably probably the right area, I think. Yep. I don't like getting that Durant for that price, but we've got him now. Don't let Mitchell go for twenty three. Come on, for God's sake. We've still got two guys who haven't yeah. Got a player yet? And uh, that they Karan should. And Alex. So, so I've been trying to hold my money, and I still ended up with two potential first round players, and I don't really know how that happened. I'm not complaining too much about it because they're good, and I've still got 120 dollars left. But it's not how I wanted to approach that necessarily. I know in my mock on the weekend, Iran went. Risk. So he went with guys like LeBron, Paul James. Mm. Uh, sorry, LeBron, Paul George, uh, Anthony Davis. So guys that high mm. ceiling, but also risky in terms of injury and age. Alex picked up a lot of nice value picks. Um, I remember Zach and I commenting he got a lot of guys at good value. These these Yahoo average prices are meaning nothing in this draft. It's very interesting. And Alex jumps in first with Kessler at 16. I know Alex is very big on... Uh, oh, that's actually a different... It's not, I thought it was for clean. It's a Brutha. Yeah, too, yeah, too many Alexes. Too many Alexes here. Mm. <clears throat> that's not a bad price for Kessler. It's probably about the right area, I would say. Jim Butler. Hmm. So Kessler, for reference in mine, Kessler, I remember because Zach took him. He went for 33 Wow, that is – that's the gigantic difference. Yeah, and part of that was uh, Zach and Alex Reclean were going backwards and forwards on him. Yeah. Um, so it was a bit of a bidding war, and, and I think Zach just took him to spite Alex a little bit. 16 is absolutely more reasonable, but that's a gigantic difference. It's so yeah. big. Tony's yeah. jumping in here to really wipe himself out. Him and Noah are going to be sitting here, fingers up assholes for the next two hours. He's got $32 left as he ju- grabs Jim Butler for $31. Not a bad price for Jimmy. It's in the context of his team. Mm-hmm. I don't love it, but it's fine price. Let's look at those two teams. Tony's got Jokic. I assume you're not interested in DeJounte Murray here because I'm not. Um, uh, I mean, I'm interested in him uh, depending what his price is. Yeah. So, um, well, you, 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 I'm not going to bid on this one. You have a look. He's at eight, 19 at the moment. Tony's mm-hmm. got Jokic, Jaron, Kyrie, and Butler along with Shaden Sharp. So there's a little bit of injury risk for Jaron, Kyrie, and Butler, I think. Um, and Noah's got Tatum, Doncic, Shea, and Mitchell. It's not as much injury problem over there, but they are w- wiped out. $11 left for Noah for 10 players. And so that means he's basically got one $2 player, and then the rest is $1 players. That is not, I don't think, a, a strategy that's going to have significant success. Mm. I could be wrong, Noah. I apologize. You're banking on all $1 players for the rest of the way. And you can't even really choose your $1 player because if you throw somebody out there and everyone else is going to be able to outbid you. Now, I am in on Cade here, so let's see what happens. Um, I am in on, on Cade. Oh, and why is Cade the only person going above his average? Uh-huh. He's, yeah, there's a lot of hype around Cade. 
Is it because people are in this show and I talk about Kate a lot? Like, why is he the only guy? Everyone, please piss off. I guess I didn't expect to get Lillard and Durant, so I'm probably going to fade off of this one because this is the o- seriously the only player who is pushing above his projected or average price. You guys can have yeah. him. That's fine. I don't. If I hadn't had grabbed Lillard and Durant at those you know, $10 discounts, according to how I've projected them, I would have been in on Cade pushing up to around this number, but I am not. So there we go. I am, obviously. Uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> Kingy, 30 bucks for Cade. Yeah, well, you had a little bit more cash left than me. Yeah, I had some cash, and he fits what I'm trying to do. He was on my list. Um, he sort of, I had Halliburton. I had uh, Lamelo. Didn't get either of them guys, so uh, I'm happy to pay a few dollars over. Uh, Feel like I got, yeah, yeah. It, it's Not, it is weird that he's the only guy who went over. That's that's weird. Or well, I think he is. Maybe I missed someone else. Am I? Gonna, I just chucked twenty four on Larry because I think he should be hiding this, and there's no one going to beat him. There we go. Gregor Fushka is in the mix now. Gregor is actually an underrated guy that spent a lot of money here. He's at sixty seven dollars left with only three guys on his team. I'll let you take him for twenty five, mate, and wipe you out again. Thank you. Gregor Fushka. It is my turn to nominate. Thank you very much, um, Yahoo. What am I... Who am I going to... Let's throw... Let's throw Michael Bridges out and see how old Mick fares here. I threw him at 20. His average is almost 40. It's 39, actually. I've got him at 20. No one else going to chuck anything on him? Far out. That almost slid through. Um... 23, I'll take Bridges. Yep. Uh, are we really... Is that what we're doing? Surely. Abe, I don't, I don't understand the strategy. I, it, it, you got saved there, but why does he keep throwing five bucks on things? Extra. It worked out, but it's, it is risky. Huh. There you go. $29, Mikhail Bridges. Yeah, below his average. Like you said, still only me paying up for Cade. Yeah. But look, it's it's fair enough with his average. I, I don't think that his average is realistic. And same you know, guys like Jaron. I think their average was too high. It's just interesting to me that Cade was the only guy to go above it. CJ McCullum, do you think his value rises with Trey Murphy out? Or maybe out? Uh, potentially. Well, not really. He went for six bucks. He had, um, oh, he had an average of five, so there you go. You don't feel so sad there. Yeah, look, I think... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe slightly. I don't think it wouldn't wouldn't bump him up in my ranks or anything too much. Abe going hard again. Just chucked an extra ten on there, which pushed yeah, it must be, right in that area. It must be a, a plan that he has, obviously, because he's doing it every time. Oh, I didn't mean to push that. Thank you. It's all right. Thirty-five. <laughs> um, yeah, he's doing it. Every, it is. His, I guess he's trying to speed things up. He's trying to show intention. Yeah, there is some risk though. There is. I guess he, maybe the thought process is these guys are going to think I'm bidding hard, so yeah, why bother sort but of thing. You got Booker um, for 35 there, which is pretty good pricing. Mm. But it's also now he's in. he's got 35 bucks left for seven players. Yep. Uh, Tony Davis sits with an average of 52. I'm never, definitely not spending 50 there. Are, look, Karan has not got anybody yet because you took Kate off him at the last minute. Coprites has got spent only 10 bucks. One of these guys needs to get in on Davis, and I hope they bid each other up. Why don't you get in here, King, and, and throw throw your weight around? Just chuck chuck a bit of extra on him, get him get him out of the mix. Because I don't want him. I've already got my two sort of top top ish end guys with Cade and Chet. Get him out of the mix. Come on. My, hmm. oh, that's it's Ooh, good. Nice. Yeah, keep it going. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's keep it pushing. Garan will not like me taking Cade off him. <laughs> Good for him. Yeah. So, interestingly, right, based Basketball Monster, we have our draft tracker and we adjust prices based on who's gone off the board. And it tells you original projected price versus current projected price based on money left. Now, all of these guys have gone basically under projection, yet most of the guys left their current auction price is actually lower than their original price because we had all these guys projected a lot lower than what the the way that mm. Yahoo was initially projecting them, which is an interesting phenomena. 
Uh, Desi Bain is a $34 guy. Apparently, I wouldn't be going over 30 I don't think. I, again, I do think that the overall auction projections and average prices on Yahoo are just too high as a general rule through the first at least 25 players, probably by 5 to $6 each. And that's being reflected, I guess, in the way people are drafting here. And I, I do think that there is a way, and I might post this later on, there is a way to pretty comfortably get a team filled with 12 players ranked in the top 70 for for you know 30 bucks under budget based on their average numbers that is easy yeah. that's easy to do right but it doesn't always work out that way which is why auctions are so interesting i could make the best team in the world using those projected numbers or average numbers and it doesn't doesn't always work out that way do you feel like bane's been starting to be valued out this season a little bit um i think that a lot of the extra value for Bain comes from a rotisserie perspective mm. and season averages and ranks always seem to take that into consideration. I think he's totally okay, but I'm not going to value him as highly as what rankings may suggest. I don't think. Yeah. So, yeah, there, there is a risk of that. Like Van Vliet has got yeah, 41 bucks. That's that's a lot. Why are we spending $41 on Fred Van Vliet? I mean, I'm not, but why would you? Uh, I'll take him for 20 though. I've got a bit 21 at the moment. Uh, small loan of what is that guy's actual name? Small loan of what? It's gonna be off two hundred dollars. It's got to be European though. He's got the dollar sign after the number. Yeah, that's how you know. Twenty five for Van Vliet. What are you feeling with Van Vliet this season? I don't know. I was in on him there at, at sort of twenty four, twenty three. Uh, I think he'll have a good year. I mean, he's he's going to uh, he'll get plenty of assists, um, mm-hmm. assuming his teammates can score. Uh, so no, yeah. Look, I, I think he'll be good. I think he's pretty solid, top like like a second rounder. Um, Jordan Poole, he's someone that uh, will be interesting to see. He's going over this number, I guaranteed. He's going over this number because I've been saying yeah. that I like him this year. There is no doubt, and I want him, but he's going over this number. There's zero doubt in my mind. He's yeah, already so he's, it. average is twenty. He's already yeah. He's already over it. So uh, I'm not in on on pool here. I'll take him for twenty three, and I'll tap out there. I think. Um, he's already up to 20. Yeah. Ooh. This is a very obvious one. Man, now, Abe, Abe is in on this on 26, which would leave him $9. Yeah, which I'm more than happy for him to... Um, more than oh, happy. No. Oh, yeah. Karan. Karan, yeah. let him take him, man, for 27. Wipe him out. I think he'll get him for 27. I think he will too. But that it's interesting. Yeah. Again, the two guys... Away, well, two of the guys that I think are overvalued or undervalued in Cade and Poole have jumped uh, ahead here. Nikki Klaxo, Klaxo Claxton. Um, I think he plays more than he did down the stretch because his minutes were reduced down the stretch. Now, their backup center situation, it's Harry Giles, man. There's nothing that exciting going on there or it's Dayron no. Day- Day- Sharp. Um, do you think they push back to that 32, 33 minutes he saw earlier on in the season? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Why is this I guy's ben, price so cheap? where Ben Simmons fits probably impacts it slightly. Um there was that weird period where they were using Simmons as the center and yeah, but didn't work. when they were doing that though, that's when Claxton was playing thirty three a night, and then when yeah. Simmons was out, they reduced Claxton's minutes, which was weird. Yeah. Right? I don't know yeah. what happened with that, and some of it I think was fatigue with Claxton and playing a, a much larger load than he had at any other point. Alex really loading up here on centers after getting Kessler, um, trying to get. Claxton at a cheaper price. So that, that was weird to me. Maybe he just couldn't sustain that level and hopefully he's put in a little bit of work in terms yep. of, um, ooh, $17, in terms of getting some fitness levels up. I think that's a very, very reasonable price for Claxton. Um, not anything crazy. Now, Sabonis is one of the guys I was in on early. I wanted to get him that price of, what is it, 37 on average. He's the top of the list there. Uh, I would have been in on that for that price pretty comfortably, but because I got Durant and Lillard, I'm not going to be. Conley, this is a two dollar player. He's been yep. he's on for two dollars. I'm not interested in that. Oh, uh, Gregor uh, chucks no. him at three. But well, on Gregor, yeah, see, no, no, Noah, Noah tried to make him his two dollar player and got and got dicked over, which is what happens when yep. you have no money, Noah. You're going to be enjoying the rest of this time. Karan goes for the Jedi OG Ananobi. Um... I don't really see a gigantic, gigantic difference from OG last season. Maybe a little bit more usage. That 23 is possibly a little overpriced. Yep. But he's at 10 bucks at the moment, so we're definitely in on that. 
all about trying to find the right value here. Is it, Everyone's mm. got a player now, haven't they? Yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, I would assume. Yep. Which is actually pretty good. Often at this point of the draft where we are 40 players in, you don't always have everyone having a player. Yeah, we went quite a few rounds, uh, yeah, cycles through in, in my draft where no one had anyone, uh, where a couple of teams were just empty. Yeah, you can go through 60, 70 spots easily in an auction where no one takes them. And then those guys can just come in and pilfer and just grab whoever they want at some cheaper prices. But that's not how this draft panned out. So it didn't make, you don't hold off for those values because everyone's holding off for them. So they're not going to appear the same way. And an OB goes for 20, very, very strong price. Uh, we need to get, is uh, we've got no, I've got a nomination coming up. We've got to throw some bonus out there. I just want these this money out here. Ooh, Demetrius Morant, hmm. Ooh. ten bucks average. I would I would take him for ten without any hesitation. Yeah, I think he might have gone for twelve in mine. Maybe. Let's say I'll put him. Was, I'll put him at nine, good. and I'll probably stop it there. Because per game that he beats at easily. Yeah. Yes, it's a 25 game miss. Oh, Abe loves the last minute. I'm surprised he didn't throw 20 bucks on him. Um, I think I'll leave him for 10 with my uncertainty around Lillard, but it's not bad. That's not bad. Actually, it's pretty good. Um, okay. Yep, so you're up no, next after, yeah, after Kobe, Kobe won. Yep. All right. Porzingis, $24, $25 average. I think he is going to lose quite a bit from where he was last season. He has that plantar fascia issue, which is a concern. But even without that, I think he's more of a third rounder in traditional type value, which I think that price yeah. reflects. That's about the right area. Let's just see how people are steering clear. Like if he's going for $18, I'm, I'm going to jump in. Is it 18 now? Well, here you go. Small loan. So Alex is wiped out. Tony's pretty much wiped out, not to the same degree. Gregor is close to wiped out. Um, Porzingis up to twenty now. Yeah, right. This is this is good. This is good. And I'm going to throw Sabonis out there. I just I, I would have I wanted him, but I don't now because I spent up on those other guys trying to sort of help price enforce, but also I think getting some decent value on those players. According to my valuation, I've got about six or seven dollars value on both of those guys, so I'm happy with that. Let's yep. throw Sabonis out there. Let's just throw quickly twenty five on him. Let's get it started, and let's see where people. His average is thirty seven dollars. I actually think that's relatively reasonable. I think that's a totally fine price. He's projected at thirty two is too low. I would be more than happy with spending thirty seven on him. I won't because I've spent eighty on those two guys already, but. I'm giving I'm giving you a giving you a tip here, Adam. Jump him up. Put him up. Get to thirty. Go and go and grab him. Don't let these assholes get him for cheap. There you go. You're at thirty. Now other other assholes, don't let King get him for thirty. Everyone else get in. What are we waiting for? Ooh. Thirty one from Kobe One. I didn't want him, but now you've sort of talked me into him. No, I really, I'm really interested in what he's going to do. I think he's a little bit under. Some people are talking first round for him in a head-to-head -head snake. I don't really buy that, but I also don't necessarily think that. I think he's a great option at the end of the second round, and that price is fairly reflective of that. Thirty-four. No, yeah, this is yeah. good. This is good. This is good. Oh yeah, it's good. All right, Kobe one gets him for thirty-three. All right. Got a little bit of cash off the board there. Uh, who am I going to nominate? Um, the other one I want to throw out there is Trey Young. Evan Mobley yeah. for twenty bucks. I think. Oh, he's already at twenty one. Um, it's twenty bucks right now. Twenty three is his average. He's already at twenty one. Okay, Kobe one. Oh, Adam King's in at twenty two. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I'll see. I'm not. He's not. Do you see upside specifically for him? someone I want? But yeah, I think there's upside this season. I, I think they'll. I think he'll. Uh, okay, I got him. I, yeah, he wasn't really a, a target, but for 22, I think there's upside. I think mm. he he gets a little bit more. Uh, his hands on the ball a bit more. Like I can see him moving forward. Jared Allen sort of plateauing a bit. So yeah, I think you'd have to be worried about that with Jared Allen. All right, it's my turn. Uh, all right, let's go. Uh... 
Oh, the headmaster, Jamal Murray. All right. Let's see. National team trader. Not out here putting up numbers for Canada. Instead, Instagram living everything. $23 price tag. Obviously, he's a further year removed from his ACL injury. I'd love him at 22. I'll take him at 22 if I can. I don't think I can, though. Nope, 24. That's about right from you, Capritis. Oh, I'll just chuck another one on. I'll sneak it in, 24. Ooh, I don't like it. We'll see. Can I... Based on the way my budgeting is, I've got a couple of extra dollars to spend. And I get Jamal Murray. Okay. For 24. That's about the... Well, it's exactly the area that I had him valued. The next one is Jalen Brunson. And I'm not going to get in on this one, I don't think. Do you think Brunson gets more usage than... Randall, because they were about the same. It was like 26.4, 26.6 last season. I think so. I think he's might go up slightly. Randall's might come down slightly. Mm. 21 for Brunson. Okay, so Brunson went less than Murray. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Not really a problem with that. So let's throw... So what do I get Murray for? 24. Okay. Jalen Brown. I think there is a little bit of value maybe here in Jalen at that price. Well, at this price for sure, 17. Uh, Brunson at 21. I had at 22. His average was 30. Uh, Jalen's at 19. I think... Can I snag an extra bit of extra off him there? Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's have a look. A mm, couple of people going back and forwards here. Mm. Ellipsis. Yeah. Is it? Ellipsis brand something. Whereabouts? Ellipsis. Where's Ellipsis? Oh, up, the, yeah, up the top. Oh, yeah. Ellipsis, yeah. Jalen yeah. Brown goes for 22. More than Jalen Brunson, less than Jamal Murray. Again, these are $1 to $2. These are all in that same sort of third, fourth, fifth round yeah. morass. All right. Noah's throwing Mark Fultz for a dollar. I'm definitely not letting him take Mark Fultz for a dollar. Sorry to say. Apologies to that man. I am not letting that come to fruition. Let's... Now, you're a big Fultz guy, aren't you? I am. I'm watching this very closely. Mm. How about you just back off? That'd be great. Nine dollars. I think he went for about this price in mind, about ten dollars. Average of five dollars is insane. Projected of eleven is about right. Adam King, please leave me alone. Um. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll let you have him for eleven. Yeah, I ooh, I wouldn't have gone any higher than that. I don't. Th- no. no, I don't think I definitely wouldn't have gone any higher. For that, I had him budgeted. He was in my targets. He's in my top 13 targets, and I had him budgeted at 11, so I'm happy with that. This, well, is, the other, this is the other guy that I wanted, right? But Lillard replaces him in my overall yep. build here, but I wanted him. I think there is a lot of value here in Trey, and let's see how people approach this. I think that this is almost a $40 player still left on the board, and I, I need to make sure people are actually bidding that on him. Um, but we will see whether people view it that way. Do I dare throw the 30? I don't think I will. But this is Somewhere. this should go high. Who's got the money? Well, it's you. You and Karan and Alex. What are you guys doing? What are you waiting for? Who who are you waiting uh, for, mate? Because there's a ton there's not there's not huge amounts left. No, look, I've got I've got a few guys uh that I want that, that haven't come up yet. Mm. Uh and they're probably if I look down my list. Yeah, like I've still got thirty players on my list. Mm. Okay. okay. Um, so I've still got I've still got a lot actually. Not many of my guys have come off. It yeah, is it's not, a good price for Trey. Uh, Thirty five yeah, bucks. Yep. This is a this is good. I think you could afford to go, even go higher. Karan. Well, Karan saved his money for this. This is what he's doing. Mm. Good good pick. Good selection. Happy with that. So it's Karan's the only person with one player, and he's maybe about to get. Well, he's not actually. No, he's, old he's, old mate. Two hundred dollars took him out. Took over on the bid. And he gets him. So Karan's still sitting with one. He yeah. is going to be able to come in and smash a bunch of these guys out, which is having the balls to wait 
which is a good way to do it, is you know, there is there is a real tipping point because you might get to the spot where you end up playing paying twelve dollars for a four dollar guy because you just got too much money. Yeah. And we're getting close. I don't think we're at that tipping point yet, but we are we are getting close to it. But he's got one hundred and seventy three for thirteen players, so it's like a ten eleven per player. There's enough there to make it make sense. But we are, Gobert, we are getting close. Gobert's up to eleven, and we've got Abe going in on him. Mm. Uh, Abe got him for eleven, so Abe now only has fourteen dollars left. Okay, eleven's pretty good for Gobert, I think. Yep, yep. I don't know. The thing with him is the blocks just unbelievably regressed, and I don't know why that is. Is it age, and is that ever recovering? Is it scheme? Is it fit? Is it any of those things? I don't know. But if they come back up, then of course the value's fine. Yep. Josh the Hitman Hart. I he's one of those guys that can get jerked. Oh fuck, bid someone! Jesus Christ, what happened there? Oh no, one dollar for Josh Hart. Surely nice. someone would have. Yeah, far out. My mouse just did not respond quick enough. That is the perils as well of talking shit when uh, players are getting bid. If now I, I would have gone five dollars on him. I, there's no. That's ridiculous to me, Tony. Congratulations. Uh, Karan is up here on the big fella, Clint Capella. Yeah, we need to go higher than this. Four or five bucks, maybe. Let's see. I'll take five on him. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ellipsis taking ellipsis. six. Yep. Will I go one more? Will I go to seven? Yeah. No, I'm going to leave it. Ooh. Projected 16 is an insane number as well. What is that? Yeah, number? that's too high, yeah. No Projected one's... 16 average of seven. I think the, the yeah. average is a much better reflection. The people are speaking there. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Uh, What's going to happen uh, to this one? Zion. All right. He's got an average of $11, which I I honestly don't believe that at 11. That's that's a pretty crazy. Oh, Baruth is in, is he? You're in now, Alex. All right. Let's see. Oh, Karan's in too. You're all looking at him, are you? How about, mm. how about you'll piss off? Yeah, again, one of the guys that I think is significantly undervalued, people are jumping in on. And I know Karan's a basketball monster guy too. Yep. Karan, I think I just want to get him to piss you off because you've been saving your money and I want to take someone away that you wanted. V- vindictive stuff. He'll go again here. Yep, absolutely knew that. Um... I will leave that. I'll leave him at 21. There you go, Karan. You can have him at 21. I will. I am okay with that. Um, very, very interesting, though. Very interesting. What? Who am I going to hmm, put in place there? Zion goes for $21. How do you view Zion this season? Uh, glass half full. Um, I'm hoping that he can finally just stay healthy and put all the off-court stuff behind him. Uh, but I don't know. Like, I was pretty high on him last season and it paid off for about a month. Yeah, it did. Uh, and, and then it didn't. So, yeah, look, I think that price feels about right. In a redra- Like, in a standard snake draft, I think around he's, he's sort of going around the 50 mark. Brooke Lopez up at the moment. What did he go nine for? Nine? That's, nine a, that's spot on. It's my turn to nominate. Yep. All right, let's get let's get. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to put on that. Well, he's sitting here. Let's throw LeBron out there. Why are he still around? Let's get yeah. someone. Let's get someone in on this. I was probably going to nominate LeBron too, just to see what people think. Oh, I thought people were just going to let him go through for twenty bucks then. <laughs> Geez, that was that was crazy. Everyone just hit bid all at the same time. Um, got him up to twenty four. His average is thirty two. I'm not sure how much higher I want to go than that, but I'm also uh, twenty four. Is like, oh, okay, it's it is risky for me having him with those two other old guys. I think I'll pass on that now. You guys can sit on him at twenty six. Just I think if I didn't have Duran and Lillard, I would be bumping LeBron a little bit higher here. It's LeBron, man. Like I know the injuries are a real problem, but he's putting up big numbers, man. Yeah, yeah, up to twenty seven now. Uh, yeah, good, 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 good. Karan in Karan going with the old guys again. There we go. The interesting thing here is that you, Kingy, um, Alex, Karan, um, the people who sort of do this work as analysts, 
are all sort of saving onto their money, which again, I think is very clearly based on the numbers, the best way to do it. I, I don't I don't think there's any argument in a 12-team league that it's not the best way to do it. That The problem is when everyone tries to do it, that your advantage gets taken away. Yep. Jaden McDaniels, $2, totally okay. Um... Townsy. Right. Let's go Towns. Whew, okay. He's got an average of 30, which... He's not getting to that, I don't think. Probably feels too high, yeah. He's, if I, I'm in if I can snag for 20. Um, I don't think I will, though. I'll go to 17. Huh, Tony. Well, you can't go much higher than that, can you? What can Tony max out at 24? He can go to 24. Baruth are in at 20. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Alex seems to like this plan of just getting a lot of sort of 10, 12, 18, it's those all, sort of... It's 100% the best plan. I, yeah. There's no debating it. I, people will debate it with me. It is 100% the best plan. Yeah, Alex still in at 25. Yeah, that's probably a little bit too much for me now. Oh, Kobe won. Yeah, look, I, it's... Run whatever numbers you want on it. It's 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 probably less fun because you don't have a top ten player on your team. When I and I get that, that's what I talked about on my show yesterday. Yeah. Um, but in terms of just the math- mathematical part of being able to win, having ten guys ranked between twenty five and sixty, that's how that's how you get a bit good team. That's how you win. Yeah. Paul George. Um. Why has he got a game time decision tag on? That's because he, <laughs> because of his knee injury in the playoffs. Like, bro, like he's okay. He's he's fine now. We're, we're okay with it. That's a that's a silly. That's a bit. That's misleading. Uh, so he's up to maybe they're just preempting what's going to happen. Uh, maybe. <laughs> so he's up. Jaden McDaniel's also f- went there for two dollars before Towns. I like that. I like him for two. Oh, it's yeah. I don't think he's worth more than that, but I think he's good at two. Yeah. Paul George at twenty seven is. Him and Towns at 26, 27, some solid value. But like mm-hmm. so many people in this draft, they're all sort of going around 4 or $5 under the overall pricing. Was In other drafts, you'll see some of these guys really slide through. And I don't think we're going to see massive value sliders coming through. Pascal, Pascal Siakam. Pascal Shakim. Mm. 31. I'll take him for 20. I'm just telling you what I'm doing here. Um... Ruth has got that cash he's going for him. I'm just going to bid him up a little bit here. I don't want to go higher than this, though. Oh, Caprites, you got money. What are you, what, what, funny you and Alex just fight with each other here. Oh, what do I have to, why am I getting involved with you two? Just fight. I'm not, I don't want anything to do with this. Go higher. He's up to, he's up to 24. Did he go for 24? Yeah, he did. Ruth got him for 24. It's yep. good. It's taking some, of the, some other players off the board here. Ooh, true. 28 is his projected number. I don't really get that. I'm not looking at him at that price. How's my team looking? What have I got? Lilla Durant, Murray, and Fultz. Okay. Um, 18, right? No, no, we're not letting that happen. Come on. Come on, let's, let's get serious here. 20 bucks for Alex... Alex, I think you want him, so I'll let you take another dot two dollars off the board. Or am I going to stick at him at twenty one? Come on, Alex, you know you can push that a little bit higher. Ooh, Kobe one does. All right, that'll bet that'll back me out of that. I think. Yeah, that'll be that'll be the bulk of his money gone. What? Oh, oh. Where? oh Alex, back in. Alex is making his charge. And this is about that area. When you've held on to your money, you can start making a move. We're getting to a stage where I'm going to start, not to give away anything, but I, who cares? I'm just telling people what we're doing. We don't, it doesn't mean anything. I'm going to start throwing out some guys that I want to see whether I can get them and then see whether I need to adjust my strategy. Because if I wait on them and then I don't yep. get them, the other options are gone. So I've got to start throwing them out now to see where you know, what the value of them is. Now, Garland is probably a little under. Alex is chucking bids on literally every player now. Um, he's going at 26. Oh, no, that's, that's probably about right for Garland, I think. But I don't think he's going to... Ooh, actually, he's going that price. Okay. We are jumping up. I'll take 21 on Garlo. And hmm, Caprites is in on him. 
mm-hmm. there seems to be when we're talking dynasty, he's only twenty three. There seems to be a not even a I don't know what the right word is an acceptance that Mitchell probably gone after this season. That's what I keep hearing, and I, yeah. it's pretty wild to me that that's what we're hearing. But that is just what mm. we keep hearing. And that would bump him absolutely through the roof in a dynasty, which of course this isn't. Alec Peren Shengun. I I don't I don't know what to feel about Shengun. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to view it. I don't know. He's got a projection of 17, an average of 12. 12 is reasonable, um, but I just don't know what to do with him. No, he's a really hard one. Um, you, I mean, you've talked on your show. I'm sure I have as well. So much upside, but. Is he going to play 32 minutes or is he going to play 27 minutes or 26 minutes? Yeah, I get the feeling it's going to be pretty frustrating. Mm. Shingun for 11, though. It's an, Baruther just, again, he's already dropped in eight players here. And he's got 80, or six players. He's got 80 bucks left for his eight players. So he's getting to the stage where he had all the money and now he's got not as much money. Um, he might have got a call that he has to go and cook dinner or something. <laughs> so he's... Jakob right. Pertl, I'm in on this one, I think, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think so. I've got to get, if I can get my freaking screen up so I can be it, it'd be good. I've got too many things going on here. Seven bucks. Pearl average of four dollars is an insane number. That what are you, what are people doing? Seven dollars. No, not seven dollars, sorry. Four dollars. Three point six dollars for Yucca Pertle. Are we all okay? Well how can you how do you justify that, Kingy? Because he shoots forty percent from the line? Come on, guys. What, yeah, what are we I doing here? Absolutely no way. Although I'm not sure I'm going to go much higher here. I'm not going any higher. I'll um, take him for 10. Oh, it's you, is it? There you go, 11. Yep. Oh. <laughs> you can have him for 11. That's fine. I'll have him. Yeah. Yeah, no, $4. That's ridiculous, God. If you could get him for that. Even for 10, 11 that we got him for. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good with getting fine. him there. Look, yeah. Yes, the free throws are not yeah, particularly um, strong, but that's okay. I'll more than who's up next? Jeremy Grant. I'm not really in on this one. Um, yeah, I'm not really in on this one. But six dollars is oh, no, no. I mean, six dollars. Come on, what are, come on. We're we're not doing this. Uh, yeah, there is a massive shutdown risk here with this team being trash, um, and Jeremy Grant's going to sh- probably have a chance to be a 42 percent shooter as it was in Detroit. Although there are more chuckers on this team than that Detroit team. Mm-hmm. Um, projected 15 is not really a common sense. What do you think of Shengun and Pirtle going for the same price? As we're not in on this bit on Grant here at 10 bucks, Or yeah. them going higher than Grant. The Grant one is definitely just risk of not playing, I think. Yeah, uh, Pirtle, Shengun. I think that's about right. I mean, I think they're very different players. Um, mm-hmm. Shengun has more upside. Pirtle is far safer. Yep. Um, and and people will look at his numbers from last season and go, oh, he regressed. Mm. But he was... He was awesome in Toronto. He was just bad in San Antonio. I was really trying to screw with you there, so that's partly why I gave that extra dollar on, and then you just gave him up to me, part of the mind games of an auction. Um, yeah. Brad Beal, $9 average. That's Who's drafting in these drafts? $9. You guys need your head read. What was it? That far out. That skews everything, because that is the fakest number I've ever seen. Yeah, he'll, he'll be he'll be top 50 if we're looking at normal, normal ranks. He'll be... Um, He's going to take a hit, obviously, in Phoenix. But, um, yeah, even what's he at now? 16. Yeah. That's much, much better. $9. Come on. What are we talking about? Karan's going to go again here. Oh, he's up to 18. I got him as like 23. $9. I, I'm sorry. That's embarrassing. What is going on with that? What is that number? Yeah. I mean, I guess. Part of it might be that they don't have a massive sample size of auction drafts to pull their data from. No, they're pulling them from somewhere. But, but I don't know. Straight out of their ass is where it's coming from at the moment. The $20 to yeah, to, to Quran. Quran. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, Ooh, Paolo. All right. Interesting. He's got an average of 10 more than Beal. That's what? Okay. Doesn't make any sense at all. Goes for nine. All right. My turn to nominate. Let's take Zach Levine. Now, is this a guy you wanted? You said you were going to start throwing out players that you actually want. Yes, it is. Yep. 
Okay. Him and Beal were two of the guys that were left that I wanted to have a crack at. Okay. And I want to see... Ooh, a few people going here. Yeah, again, it's everyone that I'm thinking is underrated because a lot of them are using my projection, so it's very hard for me to get something going off that. 22 for Zach. Yeah. Olives, please, please just leave me alone. I'm not going higher than 25. No. What do you think happens this year? Remember last year they, there was a knee injury and he's going to be managed and he missed like two of the first three games and then basically played every game. Absolutely bizarre, that situation where he missed, yeah. missed two games to start off and then played every game, every minute, every yeah. game. It made yep. no sense whatsoever. And I hope that it just means that we're good to go, but I don't know. Mm. That whole team, I always just don't know what's happening with them. There's always something yeah. weird going on. Uh, Dan Gafford. All right. I'm in on this. Do I get it? Probably not. Because again, he two, $2.6. $2.6, yeah. Kingy. Yep. $2.6. What do they think Anthony Gill's going to start? Big Xavier Cooks guys over at Yahoo. I'll take him for 10. I won't go higher than that though. All right, that's fine. Somebody else can jump in on that. That's that's value. It's another one of those guys that I targeted. Um, although my target guys are coming off the board at the moment. Oh, okay. My turn to nominate. Twelve bucks for Gafford. It's good value for Gafford, even though that price on Yahoo tells you that it's not right. It's way off. De'Aaron Foxy Fox. He's what twenty five. Yeah, average 25. Do you think he can get better than last year? Mm, no, uh, I don't think so. Not not significantly better. Um, felt like best case last season. Um, yeah. I think he can. I think he can stick. I think he he'll be similar. Um, you got, Sacramento haven't really changed. You've got the most money left. I do. Hmm. Yeah, I think the thing he can improve is his three point percentage can go up, but. That there's almost a hundred percent guarantee that he's fifty nine percent from two is going to fall. Like it's just not likely to stick yeah. at that level. So yeah. even if the three pointers go up, does it actually offset a projected fall? I'm not sure. Twenty six for Fox, good, good price. No, no super bargain coming through there. No, uh, Chris Middleton. Um, he, he. I mean, we've done a lot of. Redra uh, auction, sorry, not auction, standard sort of snake drafts. Middleton seems to be falling. Yeah, we're not here though. Um, All these assholes are jumping in. Yeah. He's got an average of four bucks. Everyone's, again, it's one of these guys that is severely underpriced. Yeah. And when I say, like, if you on paper, you can go and use the Yahoo averages and projected team and produce an unbelievable squad. And that's one of the ways you can do it is by getting him. I'm not spending $16 on him to do it, but it is one of the ways that you can, um, if a bunch of people don't know what they're doing, you can get. Um, you can can get some uh, some value out of that that position. Um, who I might throw him in there. I think uh, Joshy Giddy. All right, all right. Let's go now. Let's ramp it up. Um, Sixteen, fifteen dollars average. I didn't expect to see that. Twelve dollars. I'll throw on him. Um, are you worried a little bit about Jalen Williams taking any touches from Joshua? Uh, not really. No, I think um, I think it is their future. I think they. He's, in, in term, yeah. He's not even twenty-one yet. I mean, they all are. Like Williams is obviously part of the future as well. But I think God, just watching. I mean, obviously we're Australian, we're a bit biased, but watching him at at FIBA, mm. he he was clearly the best player for Australia. Oh yeah, by obviously far far and away. And I, I watched um, him in person as well, and it was the case too. Yeah. Um, so I got him there for 15, which I'm that's, okay with. That's pretty good pricing, I think. Abe's got 12 bucks left for four people here. Bam, at a bio, 26 average. I think Lillard hurts him significantly if he arrives. Bam's not a shot blocker. He doesn't get many steals. He relies on scoring recently, and that'll drop 
Um, although losing Hero and replacing with Lillard is probably not a gigantic difference. It is a difference. It's not gigantic. I just don't think that he's yeah you know, twenty six. I wouldn't want Bam at twenty six. No, I think he's what is he at nineteen? 19. Oh, yeah, twenty one. Yeah. I'd be okay with. Bruce is going to yeah. get in here for nineteen. Really good yeah. value for Alex, I think, in that spot. Alex is really executing a nice, um, a nice, really balanced build here. Scott, yep. Scotland Barnes goes for one well, hasn't gone yet, but he's he's up. He's got an average of sixteen or ten bucks. I'll take him. But let me see whether that's going to actually play out for me. Can I get him for ten? Nope, because Gregor, nope. Gregor's in chucking at eleven on him. Do I want him for twelve? I don't think I do. All right, that's cool. He can go for 11. Abe says it's too cheap. Well, Abe, if you had more money, mate, you could have jumped in on it. Here we go. Projected $0. Congratulations, Yahoo. Wow. I think your uh, system might be off. He's going to go for 10 plus here because, again, I'm telling people that he should go for that price. Karan is using my projections, as I'm well aware of, and he's going to yep. beat him up. And I want him to. And Karan, I'm just going to keep bidding you up, mate. There you go. Have him for, have him for 11. <laughs> Now you know what? I'll go one more because you'll go one more as well. Oh, maybe you won't. Yes, you will. There you go. I knew that. You can have him for that. This is, it's, yeah. That pricing is insane. Zero dollars with an average of three. Like, it's ridiculous. But got him out there for 13. And I've got my backup plan for Mark Williams, which I'm not going to say who that is just at this moment, but I do have a backup plan in my little projection. But he's one of those guys, again, you throw him and Chris Middleton and Brad Beal, and if you're just in a league where people are following averages, you will destroy a draft. Destroy it. Yeah, Williams. So he went for more than Gafford, I think. From... Yeah, he did. I think that sounds right. Yeah. 12 bucks for Gafford, 13 for Williams. Both those guys are significantly underpriced. Draymond yeah. also is underpriced, I think. So th- yeah. what, three bucks? Yeah, okay. Well, I'll take him for six. Am I going to get him for six? I might. I'm okay with it. Ooh. Okay. Kingy. Going to spend some of that money, mate. Get those moths flying out of the wallet. That's right. That's right. I don't like Draymond, no, Draymond, but he fits what I'm doing. Abe in at nine. That, he can't go any higher. That wipes him out, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to let him have him. All right, so he's done. He can only do so $1 done. bids now. Yeah. He, Noah can do a two. Abe can do a one. Kobe one says he messed up with a $9 Bunkero starting bid. I think he probably would have gotten there anyway, but you, maybe, yeah. you did. maybe you did. $9 still feels pretty good for him. The Baptist, John... Johnson Collins, um, I really, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure who he is. Uh, three bucks, I'll throw on him. Uh, uh, is he, is he cooked? Is he bounce back territory? I, I don't know. Yeah, I think he might have a bit of a bounce back. I mean, he was so bad last year. He had the weird finger thing, mm. um, which impacted his shooting. He shot 36 percent uh, from three over the final ten games. It's a stat I love recounting, but it's important to note that he shot 36 percent from three over the final ten games. Mm. So his finger's not entirely rooted. No, no. And I think very little pressure on him now. Mm. There was always expectation and the whole, is he being traded, isn't he, in Atlanta? Now he's out of there. I think he a bit of a fresh start. So Was he a salary dump or was he someone they valued? Because, of course, they've got Taylor Hendricks. So do, mm. does Collins play 25 minutes and Hendricks takes over at some point? That's a risk. Yeah, it, it is. It has to be considered a risk. Julius Randall. Off-season ankle surgery shouldn't be a problem here for him. Let's just throw 10 on him. Let's get some more people involved in it. I'm going to start chucking my screen where I'm bidding here to show what people's max bids are. We're into that stage where I need to know who can do what. What's my... I've got $6 left per slot. Yeah, that's not... I don't love that. Um, Randall at 14. Who's got the most average left? I think it's you, King, at $11 per slot. Yeah, it is. Karan at 10 and Barutha at 10.2. Randall goes for $14. Randall for 14. Mark Williams for 13. Gafford for 12 is an interesting development. Mm. I know I know Randall's terrible defensive stats. I know his bad percentages. I know that. He's also probably a 28 and 5 guy, which is relatively useful too. 
I'm really interested to see what happens with the Jones boys later on in this draft. And actually, you know what? I might get a little bit of cash off the board with someone. Maga Porter Jr. for four bucks. All right. I'm going to... What's up? Is it my nomination? It is my nomination. Let's find him. I'm going to throw this guy out and we'll see how that works. Michael Porter Jr. for $5. Let's throw D'Anthony Melton out for a dollar. There's Someone's going to go four here for sure. It's not going to be me, but someone is going to go four. Maybe not. Don't, they're not going to let Tony sit on him for two. Come on. I was hoping that someone would hype him up. Come on. There he is, Kingy. The I'll take him for three. Peer pressure. No, he's gone up to four. I just peer uh, pressured you into that. Do it again, Kingy. Do it again. Come on. No, it's, it's cool. I had him. Cool, he's on my list. The cool he's kids are doing it. The cool kids are doing it. I'm Come not on. a cool kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I don't think I want him for six. Ah, there. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, cool. That's all right. Yeah. Went for five bucks. That's uh, uh, the rock DJ, Rob Williams. He might actually be a $20 player. He might be a $1 player. I yeah. just I just don't know. I have no idea how to judge what he does, but if you sit at four, I'll take him. Um well, yeah, there's another there's another really interesting player available coming up soon that I'm going to be looking at. Six bucks for Rob. He's worth more than that. But he's now pushing into the stage where this is probably not a bargain anymore. It's not it's not far off. Let, let's be fair. Like it's not that far off, but how do we how do we value him how do we know how the celtics value him how yeah. do they how does that like any of those guys can get hurt at any point that's the real problem okay. game. yeah they've all got a significant in- injury histories as part of the point as well i didn't expect to see rob Williams going for nine dollars though all right there's no there's a i lot went of- in on him at eight i was okay at eight but i yeah i'm not gonna go to ten as much as i can give shit to yahoo's projections and their average pricing one thing that you will notice here is when we get into this area of the draft, there's a bunch of guys where their average is half of their projected price because people, as a general rule in auctions, bid way too much for the top-end players. So there's yeah. these guys, Terry Rogier, an average of 4.6. It's insane. He's projected is 12, probably more in line. Tyus at 6, he's projected is 12. That 12 is more in line. Like People are like Miles Bridges, average at 4. Insane. Like It just shouldn't be that level, but people overspend on that. That's why I just think... Taking Jokic for 68 is a waste of money. Taking any of those guys for like 60 plus, I think is a waste of money. Mm. Especially in a 12-team league. Ingram. I'm not doing it, but it's not bad pricing at $19. His average is 20. So we saw a lot of the earlier guys going five bucks under. He's sort of right on here because people have got some extra cash left over. And that's pushing where, again, it'll be the reverse in a lot of other drafts. The other guys go at average. And the mid guys, these guys here at pick 80, pick 90, or nomination 80, nomination 90, generally can go five, six dollars under. Absolute reverse situation here. Yeah. Chris Paul at $14. I don't know why I said 14, because he's not. He's at six. I think I was, I was just giving away what I had him valued at, which is 14. But I'm, I'm not combining him i want to ask you a question on this kingy i know you're you're bidding actually finish it off and just we'll get to it in a second i'll see how you know you really tighten the screws here on these guys how's tony still got money left he's got 24 bucks max bid left how's that possible oh you've got 102 max bid you're gonna go hard on this one just throw 70 on him and and see how it pans out I'd, I'd be confident I'd get him for 70 (laughs) i'd be Uh. pretty confident with it too although quran can max bid 73 so you never know um, Adam gets Chris Paul for eleven dollars. What I wanted to ask you as we wait for the, ooh, I was interested in him. Anyeka Kongwu, do I go in again? Uh, only if I can get him cheap. Let's go for four. I won't go any higher than that. Someone else can have him. Yeah, uh, pairing. There's a lot of talk about pairing, and I yeah. am getting to. I'm probably going to do a show on this though, but I, I'm getting to the stage where I, I think it's just completely overrated. It's just something people just focus on. Well, who's my best pairing with this guy? Like whoever you bloody want. As long as there is like one, it's more about avoiding a shit pairing than yep. focusing on a good pairing. I'll give you eight blokes to pair with every single guy, and there might be one or two guys that go nah. So I think the market inefficiency there is just avoid the pairing versus target the pairing, mm. because that like oh this is the perfect guy eh, okay well then I can actually do something different in the next round and different in the next round and that ends up perfect as well. It's about avoiding the shit one, and. Yeah, people are going to ask me. I'm going to do a show and it's going to be, here's the perfect pairings for your first round picks and it's going to be whoever you want. Just don't do this guy because that's that's the inefficiency I yeah. think in it. Yeah. Austin Reeves at $3. Yes, please. Um, 
Reeves struggled. I didn't see Team USA's game today. How did he go in that one? Did you see it? No, I saw like the first quarter, but then it was, I knew I had to get up at six o'clock to do a show this morning. So it was like a, it started at quarter to 11 our time. Um, oh, yeah, it was the late one, wasn't it? That's right. It was, yeah, yeah. Uh, I watched the first game. Uh, Serbia looked good. Yeah, they beat Lithuania, didn't they? Yeah, easily. Yeah, didn't Bogdan went off, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, I didn't. I didn't watch any of those games last night. I don't know what I was doing. I was doing something. Um, Austin Reeves goes for ten bucks to Quran. I'm pretty okay with that. Now here is a guy who has been on my target list. Mm-hmm. Old Franz Wagner. Let's see. Does he push past that thirteen? I would say absolutely without a doubt he's going to because he's on my target list. Ah, oh, Barutha, you're in as well, are you? Haven't really seen much of Franz at the World Cup. Sprained that ankle early on. You did, yeah. Only played. How about all of you guys just piss off? How about you just let me have somebody that I'm interested in? Barutha, please leave me alone. See, Franz got average of eight, projected 13. Okay. I'm losing value here. Let's take him. So I'm not going higher than this. This is frustrating. It's continuing to happen. Um, oh, fuck. That's probably... I can get value somewhere else now, surely. That's too high. Hmm. Take it. All right. Take it. Not much left. Uh, I mean, Alex has only got four players left, so... Mm. Yeah, he's been real oh, now. I Jalen Duran. Passport legend. Average of $2. Well, we're not going to let that stand. I Are you worried about Jimmy Wiseman and Marvin Bagley, Marvin Bagley the fourth, Marvin Bagley the third? Nope. Oh, f- everyone's bidding. What is uh, what is going on? Don't auction draft with people who know you. Um, eight bucks. He goes eight dollars. Okay, fine. This is another one of those guys that when you're constructing a team off average numbers, it, it's a dominating sort of spot you can be in. Yeah. All right, so I have got... Duran gone, who's on my list, and Franz gone, who was on my list. Jalen Williams. I'll throw ten bucks on old the Bronco here. I'm not gonna get him. Is he gonna be one of those ones that goes too high? I don't think so. I'll take him for fourteen though. He can be my Franz replacement. Ah, of course of course it won't be. Why would it be? Why would that happen? Very interesting stuff. 15 bucks for ellipsis for Jalen Williams. Probably about right. I've got a couple of other little sneaky ones just up my sleeve here. A little bit undervalued guys that I'm hoping to get. And here is one of them. Although can be a little bit overrated, I think, Kingy, Cam Johnson in um, head-to-head leagues. Yeah, I'm really high on him as well. Um, he was great down the stretch. He was great. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm considering this, but... Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Kobe Wan. <sighs> All right, I'm not going higher than 11. No. Uh, average average is about right here. That projected 17 is pretty crazy. What is that? Yeah, number? 17 is a bit too high. Yeah, 11. Oh, okay, 11 for Cam. I'll, okay. That is... He's not quite the same player, but he is my Franz Wagner replacement. Yeah, he's a he's not a like for like, but still yeah. okay. Okay, Maxi. Mm. I had him initially on my list. I took him off when I overspent for some other guys. I missed out for some other guys. Now he's back on, and I think he's probably worth a good amount here. I think he's probably worth twenty. That eleven dollar average is insane. What is that number? I'm not letting that stand. Come on. Uh, up to fifteen. I'm intrigued, but I still well, got guys on my list that haven't come up. So yeah, okay. Barutha up to sixteen on Maxi. I know exactly who's on your list, and he's one of the guys on my list, and it's going to annoy me. <laughs> but let's fight over it. All right, Maxi goes for sixteen. I'm going to just nominate the guy because I want it to be put out of my misery on uh, it here. Or, or put me out of my misery. Yeah, I know. It's, one it's of the two. Ooh, Tyler Hero. 
Can we get this one? Six dollar average is also crazy. I know people can shit on Hero, but that's that's a stupid price. This is where the value. This is why those early prices are ridiculous because everyone else here is underpriced by ten bucks basically. Um, Tyler Hero. We are pushing up. Most people are just ignoring average, which is great. They've got their own ideas and own pricing, which again always changes the um, dynamics of a draft. Do I go up to ten for Tyler? Yeah, I think so. No, I'm going to leave it. Ooh, my turn. All right, all right. Let's Your do, turn. Let's do it. How much are you nominating going for Vassal on? I'll go two. Well, the wild difference between projection and average. How everyone's going in on this one? That's a, again, it's a stupid one. How high they go is mm. going to be the question. Oop. Hmm. That that is pushing too high. Yeah, I'm not going higher. If I get him, I'm okay no, with yeah, it. You can have him. That pushed yep. too high. Yep. Okay. I've got a bit of money to play with, so. So do I. Brucey Brown. Brucey Brown. I've got another very interesting one. I, th- I also think the next... Was that one of the guys that you were, that was on your target list? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was. And I think the next guy I'm going to look at is probably the same. Going to be the same story. Brucey... Well, four bucks. Yes, please. Thank you. We'll take Bruce for that price. If we can do it. Four bucks. Come on, let's go. Projected at zero dollars. Oh, yeah. Let's go. All right. That's good. That is a nice little um, Vassell replacement. All right, I am up. Um, hmm. Ooh, not interested, but maybe could go cheaper. Yeah? Oh, actually, he's fourteen bucks. Could he be? Yeah, my, that's too high. Can he be my? Can he be my Duran replacement? Hmm. So far, he's going at Gafford prices. Mark Williams prices. Now, Capritas, you want Jared Allen, do you? Let's see how badly you do want him. Nah, you can go. Hide. I'm not going higher than that. Am I? Nope, I'm not going higher than that. You can have him for 15. Okay. Um, interesting. Thought he would have gone a little, maybe. Oh, here we go. Mitchie Robinson. We're getting the centers off the board here. Mm-hmm. Um, any interest in this one? Maybe he can be my Duran replacement. Yeah, I've got interest in him. At $3, Kingy. Breaking yeah, the bank. Yeah. Uh, he's up to four. All right, you're in now. How high are you going on him? I'm out. Yeah, I'll go five. Because I did miss out on Mark Williams. Yeah, that was yeah, that was, um, annoying. That was annoying. Most people okay. watching this, you'd be able to get Mark Williams a lot cheaper than that. Yeah, so five dollars for Robinson. Eh, I'm not excited about it, but... If, uh, it, it really just blocks rebounds. That's all I'm looking for. So, People who are watching this show currently, hello to you, first of all. Secondly, when we uh, do the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Bowl later on, would you guys want some divisions to be auctions? If you do, please comment that. Not in the chat, because the chat goes away after the first show. In the actual YouTube comments, if you want auction up F3 bucks for Jabari Smith while that's going on. I'll just throw that out there. Um, Jabari Smith seems to be rising in ADP across sites at the moment. He's got an average of two dollars. I'm not. Well, six, come on, six bucks. This is where all those initial five dollar unders come in to kill you. Six, seven dollars. That's what are you doing? What? That's why are we wasting that money? I I know two of the guys who are on your target list. Just for the sake of the interest of this show, I'm going to tell you who they are, and you're going to tell me how correct I am. And you and you're not allowed to lie. One of them is Anthony Simons, I think. No. Nope. Oh, the other one's Ben Simmons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> got that one. Because Simmons is projected at zero, I think, on here. Is that uh, right? He might be, yeah. Which is pretty crazy. Yeah, he's got a $0 projection. There's another $0 projection guy. I'm, well, that's, that guy is my Duran replacement. I've got to throw him out there. That is my Duran replacement. If I can get him. Marcus Smart for $7. Much like with Bain, the value early on in the season is going to be significantly higher than... Um, it is later in the year just because of the return of old mate Demetrius Morant. Is that too high though? People think Smart's a terrible fantasy player, which is just not true, but is that too high for you? Oh, uh, this, I, I mean, I was in on that. $10 is 
probably as high as I'd want to go. Mm. I would have liked to get him for around seven. Uh, ooh, okay. I'm interested in this yeah, one. Yeah, he's got a really cheap price for here. Really cheap. I think he's like at least a $10 player. Yeah, he's at eight now. Yeah, okay. I might, I might be out on that. I'll go nine. Oh. Do I go... Hmm. Do I go 11? No, I'm okay. 10 bucks. Okay. So these are yeah. wild fluctuations. Versus, it's very hard to know in an auction. There's projected numbers, there's average numbers. Sometimes they go by projected, sometimes they go by average, sometimes they're nowhere near any of them. It's really all over the place. This just gives me an opportunity. You're not going to hear it, King, but I want to do it because I love getting new sound drops and just really playing them a lot. Clay Thompson. Ni hao. Ni hao indeed, Clay. Um, five bucks though. Ooh, Clay looked dreadful in the playoffs, but he looked all right down the stretch of the regular season. Mm-hmm. Five bucks is a reasonable price. He's up to seven now. Caprites is really chucking his weight around. We've got still only got one one dollar guy here. In hey, Bruce is a, can only do four dollar max bids now. He went from having all the money to having no money. Clay goes for seven, yeah. pretty good. Yeah, Bruce picked up a lot of. Like twenty dollar guys, fifteen dollar guys, exactly what he did in my draft. Yeah, it's, it, honestly, it is the best strategy. I love what he did. Like he got the value there on Wagner, got value on Maxi. Didn't love his Bam one, not as high on his Shingun one, but I liked his Siakam. I liked some of the other picks. It's it's a it's a great. Oh, here we go. All right, now now we're on. I've got to concentrate because Ben Simmons is on five bucks. I'm throwing it on there for his projected of zero dollars. Tony Terrific's gone five dollars on Benjamin Simmons. You've gone six. Do I? He's worth more than this. I'll just sit at seven. Do you? He's worth. He's worth way more. Oh, do I? Oh, do, do I do it? No, I think I'm gonna. Someone else jump in, please. How high would? You, I'm not gonna go. How high would you go here? Uh, oh. Okay, so you, 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 I'm out. How high would you go on this one? I'm not doing it anymore. I honestly think um, he's, he's at least a sixteen dollar player if he can play sixty games. Yeah, look, it really depends on on games played, um, and I mean it's a, it's a mock as well. I. I'll go ten. That, just... that that's a projection of zero for him and Mark Williams is legitimately insane. Um, average of two is insane. This is a guy. Look, I, I know I don't know if he's going to be healthy. I don't know what the hell is going to happen with this bloke at any point. But that's insane. Like ten bucks is pretty fair. If you're getting him at two, like congratulations. Yeah, yeah. I mean, got him for ten. He was right at the top of my list, though, in terms of my punt build. Yeah, um, he was right. Up, he's up. He's up the top near mine as well. Oh, Scooter, let's go. I'll take him for six. Yeah, I've got Scoot on my list as well, but I've got a couple other guys I think I can get cheaper. Tony, what are you doing? Any chance of you just backing off for a bit? Seven bucks for Scoot. I think I'll slide that. Yeah. i got a real interesting guy that I know I'm not going to get from, okay, for his price. Um, Bridges. Miles Bridges. I just don't know how they're going to work out that front court. I've got no real yeah. clue. Um, eight dollars, nine dollars. Do I take him for nine? I've got the cash. I'm not going to go much higher than nine here, but this is legit thirty-five dollar upside. I think it probably doesn't get there, but that's what he was when we saw him last play. Yeah. Oh, I did get yeah, him for nine dollars. Huh. He was good that season. Yeah, nine dollars. I think that's. I think that's fine. This. As you said, a little bit of risk. We don't know what they're doing or what, mm. how they view him. But well, Scoot went for seven, and Bridges went for nine. Like I'm, yeah. I'm, a, and Simmons went for ten. Like there's uncertainty with every one of those blokes there. D'Angelo Russell, any interest? Uh, unless it's five bucks, no. There's someone that I really need to get out there to know whether people are going to be chucking money on him. A couple of guys that I've got on this list that are significantly underpriced, and I'm not—I don't think I'm going to get them for that. Let's throw one of them out there now, so I just need to know what's going to happen with him. Let's throw Yusuf Nurkic out there for a dollar. I just want to see what happens here. Uh, you're all bidding now, eh? You're all, uh, Bruce. You're not letting you have him for four because you can't go any higher. Um. I'm not going more than six, but there's a lot of value here in Nurk, I reckon. There's, they don't have any centers either. No, Moses Brown is coming. But <sighs> Jesus Christ, I forgot that he was there. <laughs> oh, Paul uh, Washington AJ. Jr. 
Mm. We are running low on centers now, by the way. Uh, we are, yeah. Yeah, I've managed to pick up four centers. I um, do not, I have one. PJ goes for two. Okay. Again, oh, so much uncertainty. Uh, my turn. Let's go. All right, let's do Mr. Simons. Yeah, I'm interested in this. How much I'm interested, I don't know. And I really wish that he hadn't have gone nominated here because other guys I want to look at first. Because I've got three more guys on my strong target list and I've got $23 left and five roster spots. And those last well, when I hear your sound drop for him, I often wonder if Americans wonder what the hell it is. Absolutely nobody knows what it is. I'm going to play it now. Dog him, Red! Absolutely nobody in America knows what it is. I'm no. certain. Um, 10 bucks for Anthony Simons. Okay. That's good. Interesting that he went for a similar price to Scooter. Oh, no, Scooter was seven. Old Sterling Henderson. Budrick. Um, hmm. Ooh. I have I some interest. I don't know but... what to do with him. Five bucks. Mm. I I don't. I, is he going to start? He's way. Be, he's better than Matherin. And if they want to win, they'll start him. But, yep. But who knows? They benched him at the end of last season. I don't know what they're going to do. So I got him for five. Ooh, Kingy's going for six. I just don't. If they want to yeah. win, they will not. They will. They'd have to play him. But who who knows? Six dollars. Adam King gets buddy healed. I just need threes. I, I just. He is usually healthy. I mean, I know we can't count on that, but he's going to get you bulk yeah. three pointers. So he doesn't, he doesn't play a particularly physical style of game. No. Wendell, all right, here's a center that's left that never blocks a shot. Yep. But let's jump in there. Which is with, do, I mean, I don't follow college. Oh, he blocked tons of them. Yeah. He was really like good. He, yeah. I remember coming out of college when you were talked about him. He, he translated to being a really good defender. And it's just, he's never done it. He's he blocked. No, weird. no. He's, he is a very good defender, King. He just doesn't block shots. Oh, block, yeah. That's what I mean. Doesn't and get. He blocked a lot. He blocked quite a few shots in Chicago. And yeah. Jim Boylan just wrecked everything. And then mm -hmm. his game has sort of changed in Orlando. But he was very, very. I, I, th I still think he's one of the most underrated centers in the NBA. Mm -hmm. And I got him for 10 bucks there, which I'm mm, okay with. Again, the centers were sort of rolling down, and I wasn't sure yep. who else I was going to get. So my team is... Oh, here's the other one. All right. $4 player is ridiculous. What are you guys talking about? $4 player. Not a single chance he's a $4 player. This is a, this is a ludicrous number. Karan obviously has my projection, so he's going to go higher on it. Um, He's one of the guys that's over my budget. Yeah, fuck. All right. Projected at four, average of four. Insane. Absolutely. <laughs> One of the best auction options out there. Absolutely stupid, the fact that he sits there. And my other two guys, I'm almost no hope of getting them for their pricing either because they're projected at insane numbers. But 14 is probably fair for him. I think it could even go higher. It's a stupid price. Yeah, 40 yep. for Kuzma, it's, it's, it's stupid. I, I know he doesn't get many defensive stats, but $4. Like Bro might put up numbers without the assist that are similar to Julius Randle, but better better threes. Oh, maybe not actually. Randle's a pretty good threes guy. Um, anyway, it's $4 is ridiculous. $4 is the same price as bloody like Valanciunas here. Uh, ooh, Jaden Ivey, that's a $2 player that if I've ever seen one. I'm going to have money left here, which... You are. Correct. I am. Um, but strange... I mean, I probably could have gone hard on a few guys, but I still do have players left on my list. Okay, so I just got Jaden Ivey for $2. Yep. Okay, well, that's fine. I have got two roster spots left. Three roster spots left, sorry. A $9 max bid. And Kevin Porter is not one of the guys that we max bidding. I've got no. two guys left, and there is almost no chance... Two guys left on my big target list here. There's no chance I'm going to get them. But as the kids would say, Kingy, we move. We do. Uh, come on, nominate. I feel Tony. I feel all my starters out. Oh, that's interesting. 
Yeah, my roster's full. I've just got my bench uh, guys left. Here he is. Amen Thompson. Now, this is a, a new sound drop as well. You're not going to hear it, King, but I'm going to play it because I just want to get this stuff out there. Can I get amen? Yeah, amen. One dollar. Amen Thompson. Here we go. This is the one. This is what I've been waiting for. And of course, it's Karan. Karan, eat a dick because I'm going to get this guy. I'm not because I don't have enough money, but this is a top 40 player. Fuck. All right. We're out of budget. He was a top 40 player in the last season. He's not going to do that this year, but yeah. Projected at $0, average at one. Guys, it's a $10 player. Very, like, say, even say seven. 14 is maybe pushing a little hard, Kingy, but you've got the extra cash. Um, That's right. I've got the money to spend. I might as well. Good for you. Really proud of you. <laughs> it's overpaying, but oh, I think he's going to have a good year. It is overpaying, but you, you're right. Who cares? Um, at that at that spot, you, you shouldn't care. Ooh, Brogo Brogdon. I know Barutha is a pretty interesting. He loves name. he loves Brogdon. Yeah, yeah he, so. he'll want this. I'm tempted to take him. I'm just toting five on him, so he goes up to six. Oh, we both did it. <laughs> I'm just taking him because I know Alex wants him. He can't go higher than four bucks though. No, he can't. So, so we both. I don't really, I don't really want him, but whatever. Wait, you got in there. <laughs> um. All right. There are a couple of starting point guards left. They both have the surname Jones. Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins. Four bucks? Like, why not? Yeah, not letting that go through either for that price. Um, I'll take him for five. Average of $3 for Wiggins. The free throw really scares people off, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah, for five bucks. It's a bargain. It's my nomination. Let's throw... Let's just try it now. Let's just see how Toby Harris goes. Ooh. All right, I'm out. He was one of the guys I was targeting because his price is at $2, 2.7, $2.70. Like, what's that? Like two Dim Sims? That's a crazy price. So, I'll, yeah, no, he's up to nine now. Um, yeah, like that's, again, it was just an insane price. Zach Collins was an insane price. Happy to get Wiggins at that spot and that gives me what money left have I got now with two roster spots left I've got six dollars so I can go a five and I can go a one is what I'm aiming for Tobias goes for 11 Karan I know you're just going every single guy that I want and you're getting some value on them but you're also spending up a little bit on where we sit at the moment but you've done pretty well on that I don't yeah, obviously it's Jaden Ivey sitting on my bench here. I'm not sure I love that for $2, but I just wanted to take him. I don't know why I even did want to take him. Uh, Sohan is around. I'm just looking at him on my nomination list. Man, this nomination list gets wild. You go, all these players, oh, they're interesting. Andre Iguodala, Rudy Gay. Bro, they don't play for any teams. Why are they at the top of my nomination list here? Oh, Sohan went for one to A. That's why he popped up, which is good. Tyus Jones, here we go. All right. Yep, I would have been interested, but... Unfortunately, I'm not any longer. Ooh, that is expensive. Oh, wow. There is money left over here. That is I've, a lot. I've got money. Ooh. Okay. This is what happens at an auction. That is, he is not worth that much. He no, is he is not. not. And you guys are just fighting over it. But yeah. your options are limited now. There's no one yeah. really around. Oh, oh. $19. What is <laughs> going on? Oh, who have I got? Ah, uh, no, he can have him for that. <laughs> wow. I've still got uh, still got a couple of guys that I like. Um, well, here is the other one, Trey Jones. He's, he's the other one. Let's just throw my five on him and see how we go. That's my last mate. Yeah, of course, I'm out now. Um, hmm. Trey at seven. It's probably look again. These prices are stupid. If your yeah. if your league is not switched on, you can clean up in these drafts. You absolutely can clean up because these prices don't make any sense. And then when you get to this stage of like projected zero dollars, guys, there are some pretty crazy ones there as well. I might throw him onto my list. Ten bucks for Trey Jones. Eleven. Could uh, is it conceivable to you, Kingy, that Trey is better than Tyus this season? I think it's conceivable. Yeah. Um, I 
I've got tyres ahead of him, but I, yeah, I, I could see Trey ending up ahead of him. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not crazy. No. Caprites. Who's got the most money left? It's still you, $35. What are you going to do with this money? Just overspend no. on guys? Overspend on guys. So, yeah. So who do you want then? Because you, you can outbid whoever you want. So who, who are you looking at? Who's your uh, number one player? So I'm looking at Westbrook. Um, and obviously, I don't need this money to get Westbrook, but I'm punting points and I'm punting percentages. So I just want counting stats, rebounds, assists, um, Jordan Clarkson for four is an interesting one. I like that. Probably should have been yeah. on that, to be honest. Uh, so looking at Westbrook, I like Josh Richardson as a cheap target late. Uh, what about the big fella here, Jaden Jalen Green? I'll throw five on him. Projected yeah, yeah. fourteen. Wow, why is that so high? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Average is better. Uh, yeah, Jalen Green. I mean, he's going to start. So I think he'll. Yes, he, he's one of the guys that he's locked in as a as a starter. Um, we got everyone here with just a ton of money left though, where they can go. There's not really anyone who's worth the, these players, these people's max bids. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I'm just sort of looking at my team, and yeah, I mean the Brogdon pick, I didn't really want that. I just took him to annoy Alex. Uh, Green uh, goes for eight. That's that's actually pretty good value. I think. I think it's pretty yeah. good value. Oh, Trey Murphy's sitting here near the top of the nomination list. If you saw by average, it's not projected because they've projected in the 250s. Um, it's about time that I just throw him out for a dollar when we get back to me. I'll just throw two on Tari East in here just to get people stimulated, get people interested in old Tari. Hmm. I'm not going to go any higher than that. I've only got two roster spots left and I've got $6. Adam King with $5 on Tari Eason. King, yeah, you've only got, I'll, you've got I'll, two spots left. So you got 30 bucks left for your last spot. I would say that perhaps you uh, mismanaged your budget in your first auction. Uh, yes, I would say that. Although, I did get guys I wanted. Um, yeah. You happy with your team overall? Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not upset with it. Um, I probably could have gone harder on uh, like a Nick Claxton early on. Mm-hmm. Um, someone like that. I had Nick Claxton and I had Gafford, so probably could have gone harder on them in hindsight. Um, I just finished myself off there. Sorry, I didn't. Oh, did, you did. did. I didn't mean it to sound that way. In a in in a fantasy sense. I, I made my fantasies are very different to Benedict Matherin, but that was not what I actually meant. I didn't mean finish off in that way. I meant that I finished off my max bid. I've got one one dollar bid left. Um, Five dollars for old Ben Matherin, which I'm hitting upside. He's on my bench. Who cares? Like, that's that's good for me. I'm happy to get him there. Um, I if I didn't get him there at that five, I was gonna probably look at a Spencer Dinwiddie or throw a Trey Murphy out to see how people are viewing him. Zubats. Also remember, it's you know you haven't done a great job of the budget, but the plays you've got are pretty strong, and it's really it's the draft doesn't win or lose you shit. Like unless you just completely. Uh tank it, which I don't think you did, because you got like Zach Collins, I think is a good value. He, Simmons could be amazing value. I think Vassell's pretty good. There could be a, a Kongwu breakout. Giddy's pretty good there. Um, Mobley, Cade, Chet, like some pretty interesting upside players. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't, you know, the, the value differences in players is pretty um, small at times. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm not, I'm not upset with my team. I got players that I like as well. I like Giddy, I like Cade, I like Vassell, I like Chet. Um, hey, look! I hey, look at Noah's team, by the way. Let's have a look: Tatum, Doncic, Shea, and Mitchell, and nobody else. He's got ten, <laughs> 10 spots to fill. He's got ten spots to fill. And no, this is the the risk. The best player left on the board by average auction number is Jonas Valanciunas. So yeah. he, his fifth best player might be Jonas, or it could be Brandon Miller, or it could be Keegan Murray, or it could be Trey Murphy, or it could be Keldon Johnson. If you think those are good players, <sighs> Gary, Gary Trent. Gary Trent. Um, so I'm probably if I'm looking at my team, I, I like. I like rebounds. I like assists. I'm decent in blocks. Probably need some threes, I think. So Trent is someone that potentially interests me, but I'm going to take a risk on someone else. Uh, six bucks for Gary Trent. Okay. I'm just, I don't even know what I'm going to throw out because it's getting closer to my nomination and I've only got the one dollar there. Um, 
Keegan Murray, well, I would have thrown him out, but obviously I'm not getting him for that price. It's just really hard now. I don't want to throw someone out for a dollar that I want for a dollar because I'm probably not going to get them. I'd like to hold off of that. But what I will do is throw Trey Murphy out and see if anyone bids up on it, given the injury. Let's see. It might be you. There it yeah. is. It is you. Yeah, it's me. What you should should have done there, if you actually really wanted him, Kingy, all you do is you just throw like whatever the one dollar more than the max bid of everyone else is, because no one else can take him off you. Like you got him yeah, anyway. I did get him, and my team's full, and I got plenty of cash left. Yeah, so now you can just sit and watch. You're the first one to finish here. Uh Quran finished. Oh, he did. Sorry, yeah, he got uh, yep. yeah two spots ahead with Keegan. Good yep. for him. Colin Sexton goes for four. That's a pretty good spot there for Barutha, I think. Herbert Jones. Let's see how much people push him up after the Trey Murphy injury. I definitely, My team didn't look as good as what I hoped it could, but it was always going to be tough given the um, you know, nonsense of the pricing and the uh, intelligence, I think, of the people in this draft. Yeah. It's always going to push that value down. Like when I was looking at it, calculating it based on my projected values, I was getting $300 of value for a $200 budget. At the moment, I'm probably going to get 230 240 which is okay, but it's not as good because all of those ones who were priced 10 bucks under were getting pushed way up. And that we, we can sort of see that at the start when everyone was holding back on the guys who are, I believe, overpriced. Boyan. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the... Him average of $1? Totally okay with it. Like, yeah, I don't... What does he do? Score. And he's not going to have that usage that he had last season. Herb Jones went for $6 there. You think yes. he's going to go a little bit higher with Trey? Oh, no way. Why would you spend more than $6 on Herb Jones? I don't get that. I wouldn't spend oh, more no, than but I, I mean, do you think that that $6 is more than what he would have gotten, say, two days ago? Yes, but I also still think it's too high. Yeah. Yeah. Sadiq Bay goes for $2. He was in the mix for me at my $1 slot. I'm going to throw Valanchunas out there when it gets back to me because if he sneaks through for a dollar, I'm happy with it. But also just enables other people to lose some more money if they want to get into a bidding war of a guy who's at least a starter and not many other guys left are. Bogdan Bogdanovich. Ooh. If I could transfer you some cash, I would. Just uh, what's it? Just uh, send me my Venmo. <laughs> Bogdan for a dollar. Yeah, that would have been nice. Ooh, Brandon Miller for a dollar. Will these other guys get in on Brand? I know I'm not massively high on Brandon Miller, but no one else is jumping in here. Average of $2 for Brando. Projected at zero because Yahoo decides we're not going to rank rookies. Why would we, we don't count rookies. Why yeah. would we do that? Why would we bother with it? And this, it sounds like I'm shading old my mate Dan Titus. I'm not. He doesn't do this. They might claim, no. He might have some he has input, but he does not put those rookies in that spot. I 100% guarantee you on that. Punch Bob projected at $2. $3. We have a bidding war for Bobby Porters, are we? Go at it, guys. Go for it. Who's got the most money left now? Gregor Fushka is a $9 max bid. Oh, $6. Okay, for, all right. I know there's not much left, but this is, again, when the problem is, as you notice, Kingy, that when you've got money left over, you're throwing it on guys who don't deserve it. Not that it may, means anything, but like Bobby Porters is not a $7 player. Like, let's be fair. No. But it's good for me to get that extra money out there because when, like, now Tony's max one bid, max one dollar bid, Gregor's the main threat. There's a couple other guys who can just chuck a two on him. I'd love for Ellipsis and Small Loan to get some money out as Dennis Schroeder sits at $3. Yeah, Small Loan, you take him for three because if you get him, you're into the one dollar group as well. Gregor, go ahead. Gregor's got money left for three spots. Looking at your roster, Kingy, I know we've talked about the budgeting stuff, but mm -hmm. would you say that you have a, an area there on your roster, like a droppable guy that you can easily stream? Uh, let me pull up my roster. Uh, uh, well, it could be Trey Murphy. Mm. Uh, oh, well, he goes into IL, so that's okay. Like that's yeah. that, that opens that slot up for you. Um, potentially Tari, uh, depending on how they use him, how many minutes he gets. Uh Ben Simmons, <laughs> maybe. True, but he goes an IR. Um, um, yeah, Brogdon potentially, a bit of an injury risk. Um, uh, i got the my. Do I throw a $1? Yeah, the risk here is if I throw a $1 player out and I get him, I'm stuck with him and it's not who I want. 
But if the guy that I throw out there, there's a couple of guys who can just easily grab him. So I'm going to throw Pat Williams out for a dollar and see. I'd be okay with getting him as a flyer and a bench that I can drop to stream. Mm-hmm. Um, but we'll see if anyone else takes him for a dollar. I don't think they will. He's growing on me this season. He's a very good defender and he shot really well from three on low volume. I just need him to do more. I just need something more. Well, I'm done. That's it for me. Yep. He's my last guy, which I got for a dollar. Again, that open that lets my bench have him as a real him and Ivy as real two streamable spots. But also, let's see what happens. The first five games. Are they on? Do they look great? Have they improved in year four and two respectively? Maybe. And if not, I'll see you later. Um Norm Powell goes for a dollar. Yeah, that's pretty good for a dollar. I'm not gonna shit on you for that one, Gabe. Who so we've got Noah. Noah, 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 your team. Um, it's gonna look rough. Although the top end is great. I think part of I talked about this on the show yesterday. I want to get your thoughts on it. We let these other guys go through. You probably heard me say it. Where we talk, your know, depth in the NBA is great for the regular season, but the top end guys are what matters in the playoffs, right? That's how it works. You have these deep teams who are great in the regular season, and it's really good to weather the storm, all that sort of stuff. But in the playoffs, the top end matters. In the fantasy playoffs, it doesn't work that way because you don't cut your rotation down. You don't go from mm. ten starters to five starters. You still got to, the depth is ex- literally exactly the same as regular season versus fantasy playoffs is exactly the same strategy. So why having depth is not necessarily a great way to win an NBA finals. You've got to have the top end talent. Having a deep team in the regular season is a great idea. It's just like that doesn't apply here. It just doesn't work. And unless we had a playoff situation where you go down to five starters, it, it's your strategy shouldn't be replicating the NBA in that way. No, not at all. No, and and out the fantasy playoffs are not in the real life playoffs. They're mm. they're in the back end of the season, and and if you don't have depth, if you've got top end talent, if they play on a team that's like way ahead, there's a chance that hey, we're just going to rest you for this game. Yeah, yeah. The, okay, so Kelton Johnson goes for one. Noah grabs Kelton. Ah, actually, not bad for one of his one dollar picks. Aaron Gordon goes for three. Ellipsis has got the most money left now, I believe, as most people are finishing off. And we're going to turn this into a snake draft real soon. Asar Thompson goes yeah. for a dollar. Um, Tony throws out Steve Adams for a dollar. If I was one of these guys with five left, I'd probably throw two on him. If Even if I was Noah, I'd throw two on Steve Adams. So I still had a couple of guys left. Mm. Oh, hang on, Patrick Williams, he went. Um, so Josh Richardson, I touched on him earlier. Yep. Um, I had Obi Toppin as a potential late round guy yep paul reed ah yeah um, i love getting him in the last round i love i love that as a one dollar option westbrook yeah. for two dollars here going to kobe one uh yep i all my targets went because i had most of my targets as all top 100 players and that's what i was trying to stack up on and in the end i ended up with obviously ivy and williams at the back end and then mather and wiggins are top 100 if you have certain punts set so i, I was i ended up being okay with how it played out, but obviously not to the same level as what I hoped initially. Yeah, and if, well, for me, I mean, this is a, a learning a learning curve um, in terms of budgeting. And what was very probably- very interesting to me, King, is I've looked at my team and I add up all the Yahoo projected dollars. Yeah, the Yahoo projected dollars of my team equals one hundred and ninety nine. Wow. Okay, and the yeah. average is one. Yahoo average was 188. So I spent over average to get my team. Yep. Which, again, it's a lot of the averages. And a lot of the guys I targeted were the guys with uh, ridiculous averages. So that was that's interesting to me that the projected numbers ended up like that. Because I, mm. I also drafted four players who had $0 projection on Yahoo. Yeah. Well. There goes Toppin for $2. Caruso goes for $2. We haven't hit Snake Draft yet. No, we haven't. Because there's a couple of guys like... Ellipsis here. He can whoever he picks, he gets here. Well, he here because he's got the most money left. Yeah. So whoever he picks, he just grabs. RJ Barrett for a dollar. Okay. Fine. Now we're not quite at snake because small loan has can do two and Noah can do two and then we're going to snake mm-hmm. it out really soon and we might we probably won't but we might get out of here under two hours. Paul Reed goes for or gets nominated for a dollar by small loan. Noah, throw your two on him. What are you saving that $2 for? Paul Reed goes for a dollar. Good stuff from you, small loans. Or small loan of $200. Now it's Tony with his $1 bid. Noah Noah and small loan can come over the top of whoever this is. Emmanuel quickly. And Noah does. Good. I like that from you. Although I am a little worried about quickly season. I think he's a trade risk, which might actually improve him. But 
the addition of DiVincenzo sort of reduces a little of that upside there. Yeah, uh, yeah, we talked, uh, Noah and I actually talked about Emmanuel quickly this morning on, on his show. Mm. Um, yeah, I think I think last year, finally, they realised they should give him minutes because prior to that, he'd been getting 20, 21. So yeah. he was up at 28 or something last year. Small loan is the only one who can come over the top <laughs> now with his extra bid. DeAndre Hunter goes for a dollar to Barutha. Low upside, and he's someone you drop for streaming, I'm guessing. KCP, yeah, okay. Man, so he, that's his 12th best player, KCP. I, yeah, that's, again, a little bit of a risk of running into some duds here towards the end. Although there's not, there is some interesting guys left, like Kevin Herter's left, Kyle Anderson's left, your mate Josh Richardson, Jalen Johnson's still there. Yeah. Um, Denny Avdia, still there? No, no, he went a while ago for two bucks. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah, there's not much after that, though. Gordon Hayward's still there. He's an interesting one. Luke Kennard. Uh, was, oh, KJ Martin for a dollar. Oh, that's an int- I like that. That's an interesting little flyer to see whether he can take some of Morris or Batum's minutes. Do you uh, think he starts? Uh, I, I would start him, but I don't think they will start him. Yeah. Herder goes for a dollar to Noah as he's loading up his $1 players. Yeah, Noah's Naji, still got- Naji Marshall for $2. Right. What are we doing here? Yeah, that's odd. I know that Trey Murphy is out. He also may not miss any time. And Naji Marshall's like a 28% three-point shooter and still won't start. Uh, there are better options. Sorry to, sorry to you, small loan. That is a weird one. Nas Reed goes for a dollar. Here's the snake drive. Horford for a dollar. Nas for a dollar. Uh, Harrison Barnes goes for a dollar. Quinton yeah. Grimes. I'd be taking him for a dollar. Uh, I would too. Look at Noah's team on that screen. looks hilarious with all those spaces there. I'd take Quinton Grimes for a dollar here without any question. I'd take Kelly Link for a dollar. Cole, Kyle, and, uh, Kyle Anderson. Karis LeVert. Kelly Linick. Javon oh, Carter. Rui Hachimura goes for a dollar. No Anderson. No, no Anderson. Jesus Christ, I'm talking Gold Coast Suns. Kyle Anderson goes for a dollar to Noah's team. So it's basically Noah now, isn't it? Uh, Kobe <laughs> One's got one left, and then it's just going to be Noah banging out the rest. So he gets whoever he wants, apart from one guy here. Not that Let's he, see who he's. Not that he's. he's uh... Not that he's got a great lot of players to choose from. So Josh Richardson goes to Kobe One. Now it is Noah. All right, Noah, fill it out, okay. mate. Let's see what you're going to do. Josh Richardson for a dollar is a good pick. All right, fill it out. Isaiah Stewart okay. for a dollar. So Isaiah Stewart's his seventh best player. I'd go Eighth. Grimes. He might go Kispert here. Yeah, Cole Anthony I like. He, gets, he goes for a dollar. I wouldn't mind Kispert here. Uh, he might go... Well, yeah, I'd definitely go Grimes. Um, he might... Oh, no, he wouldn't. Zach would go Javon Carter. Zach um, Andrew. I would take Javon Carter here too. I'd take uh, Rashawn Holmes actually. And just see what happens there. Yep. Jarris Walker, okay. If you want, if you want some cheap threes for two months, I'd maybe look at Luke Kennard. Yeah, I'd look at Kennard too. I, I'd be, t- I'd take Gordon Hayward here without any real question. Yep. I don't know what he's going to do, but I would definitely take him. I'd also maybe look at Josh Green, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Lou Dort and Dylan Brooks. Wow, he's got the two Dylan Brookses. What a combination. <laughs> Holy shit. RIP in pieces, your uh, field goal percentage. And Caleb Martin is the final one. And that is it. That is the draft done. Kingy, run us right. through your team and tell us how you feel after All your right. first auction mock that doesn't include you creeping on everyone from the outside. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I'm, I did get guys that I wanted. I got some fun guys that I like this season. Um Probably, yeah, like looking back, I probably could have upgraded uh, Mitchell Robinson to uh, Nick Claxton or Yucca Pirtle. So could have gone harder on those guys. Um, likewise with a Kongwu, maybe could have upgraded him slightly. Uh, who else did I have on my list that I didn't probably could have gone hard? Lamello was top of my list and, mm. and he he ended up going for 50 yeah. something, 54 or something, 55, which felt a little bit high to me, which is why I didn't go in on him. Um, again, in hindsight, I had plenty of money left, so I could have. Uh, but no, look, I like my team. Like, I would enjoy having this team. I don't know how they would, uh, how they compete. Um, I mean, the standings in here have me sort of mid table, but I was just going really to mention so, that. Do not pay any attention to these projected no. standings. And I'll tell you why you don't pay any project attention to them because they've got guys like, you know, Scoot Henderson projected for zero stats. Yeah. Like, that's where you run into that that problem where these rookies don't have like I'm just gonna have a look at with some unless they've corrected it but they haven't adjusted the rankings. Um yeah, it doesn't make a, a ton of sense. Well the, the rankings don't even, even make sense with the projections. I'm just gonna try and find someone unless they have added the projections in for everybody. 
because they hadn't at one point. There was zeros for a lot of guys. Just trying to have a look. Oh, no, they've, no, they've added projections in for rookies, so I take that back. Uh, it's just a, a, a difference of opinion in terms of how people are viewing these guys because the projections are very, yeah, very weird for some of them. And look, I mean, these guys fit my build. Like I said, I'm I'm pretty keen on punting points this year and percentages. Um, so with that build, I think a lot of guys get a bump. Like Giddy gets a bump, Chris Paul gets a bump, mm. um, Mitchell Robinson gets a bump, Ben Simmons gets a huge bump. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm just looking at one of these teams, Gregor Fuchsia's team, mm-hmm. and so they've got all their projections. You guys can't see this on the screen. I'm not going to switch it over just yet, but they've got Lowry Markinen. And I, I, is maybe this is just completely accurate, but projected to have only under seventy turnovers for the entire season, fewer turnovers than Grant Williams. What I'm going to look at what Lowry had last season. That seems like an insane number. Uh, let's have a look. What did Lowry actually have turnover wise? One hundred and twenty seven last year. Mm. That's what I mean when you like they project the are base off that. What is that number? Where is that number coming from? Lowry Market at. Like, okay, we don't care huge amounts about turnovers at times, but where's that where's that number coming from? Where how are we getting to that? And that's where you go. I'm not sure I'm trusting a ton yeah. of this other stuff that's going on. Like, let's look at even uh the big fella, the reigning MVP. He's projected at where am where am I in him? Seventy eight threes for the season. How many did he hit last year? Sixty six. Okay, that's fair enough. Just some some interesting num- numbers that that stick out when you go ah is that actually real because a lot of their projections are all done here on totals as well so they're trying to um, be a clairvoyant doctor a lot of the time with this stuff as well what do they got for like D'Anthony Melton um, yeah like you yeah, really low free throw attempts much even lower than last season it's interesting just interesting mm. to look at anyway so back so your team. Sorry, interrupting you there. Um, no, that's all right. I, I've just pulled up the projected standings on Basketball Monster as well. Yeah, um, where does that sit it, you? I'm yeah, sitting, so that that has me fourth per game. Yeah, I'm sitting third on that one. And again, and you're third, it, it's so. obviously my projection. So I hope you, you'd think that anyone who's looking at that is probably going to push themselves a little bit higher up. But also just understand that averages are averages and there's yeah. variance and stuff and these things can change pretty quickly um, in terms of head-to-head matchups or variance in production and injuries that you can't predict. My team is, before we get out of here, because we've just gone over the two-hour mark, I think, Damian Lillard, Kevin Durant, who weren't on my target list, but I thought they got him for good value. Then I went Jamal Murray, Michael Fultz, Yucca Pertle, Levine, Cam Johnson, Bruce Brown, Miles Bridges, Wendell Carter, Jaden Ivey, Andy Wiggins, Benedict Matherin, and Pat Williams rounded us out there, Kingy. That will, let's bring it back our faces, um, that's it. That'll do it for us in this show. What's going on on FBI basketball at the moment? Um, how's how have you been finding getting balls deep with Doc? And uh, how's the World Cup going? Our World Cup is filling, so we're 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 just sort of doing I don't know ten entries every couple of days, every day. Um, balls deep with Doc is nice. About to jump on with him now. Um, to do the show, I've got another show with uh, with uh, Alex Barutha on uh, on the weekend to talk about our auction mock that we did and to chat about his team and his strategy. So that should be fun. Um, so just trying to pump out some shows and get some things done before I'm away for the majority of the first two months of the season. Oh, yeah, you're heading over to the states for a little bit of an NBA tour, aren't you, Kingy? Yeah. So we're off to Europe with the kids for a few okay, weeks, yep. and then back for about six days and then i go off to the states for a few weeks yeah so sounds good all right go check out kingy go check out balls deep go check out the F- lofb fbi basketball world cup we are probably closer to two-thirds three-quarters full in that now i'm guessing kingy because my half is filled and you guys yeah. are filling through yours so get over there and uh, get involved and, uh, and thank you for jumping on and uh and auctioning with me no worries uh, nice learning curve fun uh it was fun though it's very it's very different like you you just target who you want we'll do another one and i'll get you back on we'll see if you've improved your um money management i'll I'll go have a chat to paul clitheroe and see what he's got to say about your money management skills david kosh and see what they have to say and then come back and have a chat all right i'm on that david kosh not sure about him (laughs) yes so go speak to the old uh i was gonna call him the clit legend but uh, let's not do that we've been talking too long king i'll see you later all right thanks mate see ya
And that'll bring us to the end of the show. Auctions are weird. Stuff happens. This always happens when I do auction mock drafts because people will follow the way that I project players or I talk about players. They take on my strategies of trying to save some of that money. And you see the other analysts from other sides are doing that as well, apart from Noah, who went in a different direction. But as uh, Barutha went that way, just to try and hold to that money and smash the mid rounds, which I think is always going to be the positive strategy. But see how it adjusted. Like I didn't want Lillard and Durant early on, but I saw everyone going undervalued. Well, I'm going to get one of these top guys at way undervalued and see where we go from there. And I think it worked out okay. Follow this podcast, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and on the Odyssey app and on YouTube. You know what to do. You thumb it up and you leave those sexy ass comments down below. Guys, we had actually, guys, if you are here and you are still watching, not only I want you to comment about if you want auctions for the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Bowl, if you are still watching, I have got my, I'm going to put it on, get these cans off. I have got my El Paso Chihuahuas hat, minor league, triple A minor league affiliate of the Padres got my chihuahua's hat so comment chihuahua if you're still watching follow this podcast apple podcast google podcast stitcher spotify and on the odyssey app and if you're on youtube thumb it up leave the comments down below guys we are done here thank you so much for listening everyone see ya I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. (laughs) 